translator's introduction to brand this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Expatriate in Bangor, Maine. Brand by Henrik Ibsen. Translated by Charles Harold Hereford, 1853 to 1931. Translator's Introduction. Brand, a dramatic poem, was written in the summer of 1865 at Ariccia near Rome. Fifteen months before, Ibsen had left Christiania a voluntary exile eager to escape from the narrow scandinavian world and burning with the sense of national disgrace denmark was in the throes of the heroic but hopeless struggle to which her northern kinsmen had sent only a handful of volunteers he had travelled southward almost within hearing of the prussian guns and among the passengers on the steamer was that venerable silver-haired mother who as his sarcastic verses tell believed so firmly in the safety of her soldier son and with such good ground for he was a norwegian soldier in berlin he witnessed the triumphal entry of king wilhelm with the spoils of dibul the visible sign of the humiliation of denmark symbolized for him the moral abasement of his own country and this poignant experience set stirring in him the idea of a poem in which the national shame should be mercilessly brought home this ibsen has told us in one of his illuminating letters on the history of the poem was the germ of brand but the germ ripened slowly and with difficulty it had to compete with other literary plans and with new seductions at copenhagen he had already designed a drama on julian the apostate and now at rome the first vivid contact with the ancient world if it somewhat bewildered his imperfect culture enthralled his poet's imagination in september he tells bjornson that he is working out his julian scheme with eager delight but this rich kingdom where the dream children of his fancy sported was invaded from time to time by a sombre guest at whose coming they fled thus he symbolized in a little poem from my home life the interruption of his delightful labours upon julian by the urgency of another task less congenial but which weighed on him like a nightmare and would not let him go this was the original or narrative brand first referred to in the same letter as a longish poem the epic brand as it is usually called is a fragment or collection of fragments consisting of some two hundred eight line stanzas it was written with painful but conscientious labour fluctuating purpose and increasing dissatisfaction between september eighteen sixty four and july eighteen sixty five several cantos were written more than once in different rhythms the action corresponds roughly to the first quarter of the drama but is much more expansive and loosely strung narrative was at no time quite natural to ibsen and he seems never to have decided whether he was writing a novel in verse with declamatory episodes or a series of invectives with novelistic filling in the boyhood of brand and einar at first called kohl and axel and brand's meeting with einar and agnes dagmar on the mountains and with gerd are told with more elaboration and more realism than in the drama but with less power ibsen had not chaucer's or ariosto's art of reconciling matters of fact with a stately and intricate stanza it is otherwise with the invective passages for the purpose of chastisement this weightier and more sonorous lyric instrument is more effective than the short sharp reverberating rhythms of the drama two passages of peculiar interest are found in the epic only the opening lines vibrating with passion and shame addressed to my accomplices and the scornful picture of one of those patriotic meetings at which the men who had failed to answer the cry of their brother in need listened to enthusiastic assurances that the blood of the vikings still ran in their veins the orator is the quondam protagonist of norse romanticism vergiland and ibsen could not have condemned the romantic faith of his own bergen days with more emphasis for the poets as he bitterly recognized had misled the nation they were accomplices in its guilt we have coquetted with a race departed tricked out its mouldered body with false charms 
hung memory's hall with armour and with arms to make a pygmy people joke and hearted darkling we sang of glories that were gone but one great point we quite forgot to touch it ancestral treasure may he call his own who has not got a hand wherewith to clutch it or again with ironical sarcasm a people of glorious recollections this is a people that in ancient days was strong a people of fighting men and fighting misses when poets have commission for a song a people that before no peril blenches that shakes his fist against the armed east that stands serene before the southern trenches when orators are fervent at a feast but in spite of some grand passages and three fine lyrics ibsen rightly judged that he was on a false tack in july eighteen sixty five the manuscript was definitely thrown aside its subsequent fate was curious deposited with other papers when ibsen left italy in the scandinavian club at rome it found its way into an antiquarian lumber room there thence in eighteen ninety six it was rescued by a danish collector a pontopidan only however to be deposited unexamined in the private lumber room of his own curiosity store and it was only after his death in nineteen o one that his executor karl larsen at length discovered and disclosed its true nature six years later he published it in an exemplary edition but if ibsen abandoned the epic brand it was only as a runner catching a glimpse of his goal might throw off an impeding garment one day in july in st peter's there suddenly flashed upon him in his own words a strong and clear form for what i had to say he immediately threw the futile experiments overboard and began to write with a freedom and inspiration he had never known in his seclusion at ericia the dramatic brand took shape with amazing swiftness it is blessedly peaceful out here he wrote to bjornson i have no acquaintances and i write both morning and evening which i never could do before already in september the fourth act was finished and he was confident of finishing the fifth in another eight days in march eighteen sixty six brand a dramatic poem was published at copenhagen the publisher hegel head of the great danish house of gildendal to whom ibsen had been introduced by bjornson was somewhat sceptical of the success of a verse drama so unusual in style so long and so fiercely abusive of those to whom it was addressed but upon its publication it instantly took the whole scandinavian world by storm four editions appeared before the end of the year the eleventh in eighteen eighty nine and the sale is still steady to-day at stockholm in eighteen eighty five it was even put upon the stage for which it was never meant crowded houses sitting through a performance fifteen times repeated which lasted nearly seven hours outside scandinavia too the author of brand began to be named it was the beginning of his european fame in germany particularly the passionate exaltation and masterful will which pervades it found quick response after eighteen seventy from a generation which had just watched the colossal shaping of the empire and was soon to recognize its secret ideal in the ubermensch of nietzsche no less than four verse translations appeared there between eighteen seventy two and eighteen eighty two but of the european ibsen of later days there was as yet no trace in the author of brand it was addressed to norway and no small part of the secret both of its vast immediate success and of its enduring spell lay in the peculiar intensity of the bond mingled of love and scorn like the anger of dante which held him to her it was a bond which liberated and clarified which detached him from her provincialisms and drew him nearer to her essential life so that the poem which brought the sternest indictment against his nation was the first which went to its heart and not least it liberated him from the traditional doctrines of poetic art to which he had still painfully clung in the epic brand aesthetics he wrote to bjornson are as great a curse to poetry as theology to religion and for motives so complex and original as possessed the poet of brand assuredly no aesthetics provided an adequate frame throwing theories and systems to the winds he abandoned himself to the impetuous onrush of his own genius and produced a poem which belongs to no school and emulates none 
but with a thousand crudities and negligences of detail compels us by the ethical and intellectual passion with which it faces the problem of life to think of goethe's faust and by the tragic intensity of its greatest moments to think of shakespeare and the greeks brand is thus though it is also a very great deal more a picture say rather a grandiose etching sombre monotone but penetrating and spiritual of modern norway never have i seen the home and its life so fully so clearly so near by he told the christiania students in eighteen seventy three as precisely from a distance and in absence under the italian sky among the myrtles and aloes of the paradise of exiles there arose before him more vividly than ever the vision of the stern and rugged norwegian landscape the solemn twilight of the fjord the storm-swept glacier the peasant folk absorbed in the desperate struggle for bread officialdom absorbed in material progress intelligence growing refined humane and somewhat effeminate and emerging here and there glimpses somewhat futile and forlorn of heroic manhood a summer tour which he had made among the western fjords in july eighteen sixty two on a commission from government to collect popular legends supplied a crowd of vivid local and personal reminiscences a ruined parsonage under a precipice a little mouldering church a wild march across jotunheim in storm and snow and then the dizzy plunge down into one of those deep lowland valleys that strike up like huge rocky rifts from the fjord head into the heart of the mountains not less intimately norwegian at bottom is the imposing figure through whose lips ibsen thunders at the sins of norway his name meaning fire and also sword bears the stamp of the heroic age to everyday norway he doubtless belongs less than his prototype in the fragment the epic brand is more human and less sublime he still doubts his call and the artist einar proves almost his match in debate the dramatic brand is a prophet towering as he talks in the grandeur of burning faith before which einar's light-hearted dilettantism helplessly succumbs i read nothing but the bible wrote ibsen at the crisis of the drama it is vigorous and strong and hebraic imagery and allusion count for not a little in the speech of brand but spiritual fanaticism like his even prophetic passion like his had often been approached in the scandinavian world and no less than three contemporaries have been confidently pointed to as ibsen's model the danish critics immediately declared brand to stand for the danish apostle of unfaltering will soren kierkegaard norway preferred the norwegian heretic lammers of late years more interest is attached to the title of one of ibsen's personal friends christopher brun still living as a clergyman at christiania brun had preached the national duty of fighting for the danish brothers in need with a passionate eloquence equal to ibsen's own and sometimes amazingly like brands in thought and phrase he had moreover as ibsen had not fought himself as a volunteer in the vain struggle at the close of the war he went with his sister thea to rome and there associated closely for several months with ibsen all three kierkegaard lammers brun probably contributed details to the history the circumstances or the portrait of brand but the essential stuff of the character came from the nature of ibsen himself his clerical profession is in any case merely costume i could have applied the syllogism just as well he told georg brandes to a sculptor or a politician as to a priest galileo would have served his purpose assuming of course that he should stand firm and not concede the fixity of the earth the essential thing was thus the standing firm the absolute self-surrender to a cause a demand applicable to every condition of life and not least to ibsen's own struggle through want and hunger to fulfil his own call the all or nothing of poetry brand is myself in my best moments he declared to hansen and this though not the whole truth is the most vital part of it the gist of the whole is therefore ethical in spite of its theological clothing and in spite of the theological phraseology in which ibsen's own ethical conceptions were as yet habitually entangled the faith which inspires it is the faith in the spirit of man the one eternal thing as brand declares in a splendid outburst 
that of which churches and creeds are only passing moods and which now dispersed and disintegrated among the torsos of humanity shall one day gather once more into a whole but brand's opponents too were not drawn wholly from the outside if ibsen was at moments brand he had in him also as he very well knew the making of an einar nay of a per gint the joyous exuberance of the artist was as well known to him as his stern self-suppression and the creed of glad abandonment to the glory of the hour which folk preaches so eloquently in love's comedy was also the creed of the enthusiastic lyric ibsen whom the brand in him held in check and finally crushed out of sight there are not a few tirades in brand itself where it might be suspected that falk or einar had held the pen at bergen in the fifties he had made love as lightly as they to the young henrietta holst einar's art was one of his dreams and as late as eighteen sixty he still practised at the easel and it was the einar in him not the brand who revelled during the first roman months in the ideal peacefulness of the life in the blithe artist world to which only the life in shakespeare's as you like it could be compared in the einar of the epic fragment as we saw this is still apparent the artist stands up to the puritan somewhat as orlando retorts upon jacques but in the drama where aesthetics and the deliberate cults of beauty had been fiercely renounced the artist's life lost the insecure remnant of its prestige and the light-heartedness which brand goes forth to conquer now attenuated and impoverished is typified by an impoverished and attenuated einar yet even in the mature drama ibsen's inner complexity of nature the still unsolved antinomies of his mind and heart disturbed the contours of his original scheme it is not merely that satire and invective pass over into tragedy that the great crusader who takes up arms against the triple banded foe has himself to struggle in the grip of his terrible formula and finally to perish amid the utter ruin of his work he has simply given all as his formula required utter ruin if called for was in the bond to ibsen himself when he called on norway to help the danes her practically certain failure was irrelevant nor is it likely that he would have been moved by the fact since made known of the russian warning to sweden together with all this however there is a subtle probably unconscious shifting of the moral perspective a change in the point of view the beautiful creation of agnes who perhaps derives some traits from the winning and gracious personality of thea brun the comrade first of einar then of brand shares the joyous nature of the one and the heroism of the other but both her joyousness and her heroism are permeated and transfigured by love in which both men are so poor and as the tragedy deepens to the harrowing pathos of the fourth act and the pitiable desolation of the fifth it is love and no longer will which seems to have the laws that are not of yesterday but from eternity on its side while the all or nothing once the wakening cry of a young herculean god to an effete generation comes to resemble the blind fanaticism of a solitary man and a passing time and the final assurance which rings in his dying ear that the god in whose name he had crushed love is the god of love stamps him not as a martyr to his faith about to receive his due meed but as one who has sought a noble end with imperfect insight a tragic hero for whose fate deep-seated error of his own is in part responsible but this was not exactly the brand who was to be the mouthpiece of moral law to an offending people open self-contradiction there hardly is but a shifting of the stress from will to love is unmistakable ibsen loved his country but love was not the burden of his message to it yet the message once delivered love began to emerge and to reassert itself an apparently trivial anecdote which he quietly relates at the close of his account of the genesis of brand probably lets us in very close to the truth Quote, while i was writing brand i had standing on my table a scorpion in an empty beer glass occasionally the creature sickened then i would give it a bit of ripe fruit which it threw itself furiously upon and poured its venom into then it got well again 
brand is written throughout in one or other of two varieties iambic and trochaic of four-beat verse instead of being deftly intermingled as in l'allegro in il penseroso they are kept strictly apart and used to accentuate the distinction between two types of scene the iambic being chosen for the more pedestrian and familiar scenes the trochaic for those more passionate and poetic the present translation retains the metres of the original and follows the text in general line for line but no attempt has been made at exact correspondent in points such as the use of single or double rhymes and the sequence and arrangement of rhymes where the original itself is completely arbitrary c h h end of translator's introduction recording by expatriate in bangor maine act one of brand by henrik ibsen translated by charles harold hereford eighteen fifty three to nineteen thirty one this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by expatriate in bangor maine act one persons represented brand his mother einar a painter agnes the mayor the doctor the dean the sexton the schoolmaster gerd a peasant his young son another peasant a woman another woman a clerk priests and officials crowd men women and children the tempter in the desert the invisible choir a voice the action takes place in our own time at various points around a fjord hamlet on the west coast of norway brand act first high up in the mountain snowfields the mist lies thick and close it is raining and nearly dark brand in black with stick and wallet is struggling on westward a peasant and his young son who have joined him are a little way behind the peasant calling after brand hello you stranger fellow stay where are you brand here the peasant you've got astray the fog's so thick my sight it passes to see a staff's length fore or back the son father here's clefts the peasant and here crevasses brand and not a vestige of the track the peasant crying out hold man god's death the very ground is but a shell don't stamp the snow brand listening i hear the roaring of a fall the peasant a beck has gnawed its way below here's an abyss that none can sound twill open and engulf us all brand as i have said i must go on the peasant that's past the power of any one i tell you the ground's a rotten crust hold hold man death is where it's trod brand a great one gave me charge i must the peasant what is his name brand his name is god the peasant and what might you be pray brand a priest the peasant maybe but one thing's clear at least though you were dean and bishop too death will have laid his grip on you ere daybreak if you dare to breast the glacier's cavern cloven crest approaching warily and insinuatingly hark priest the wisest learnedest man cannot do more than what he can turn back don't be so stiff and stout a man has but a single life what has he left if that goes out the nearest farm is two leagues off and for the fog it's thick enough to hack at with a hunting knife brand if the fog's thick no glimmering ray of marshlight lures our feet astray the peasant all round lie ice tarns in a ring and an ice tarns an ugly thing brand we'll walk across the peasant on waves you'll walk your deeds will hardly match your talk brand yet one has proved whose faith is sound may walk dry-footed on the sea the peasant yes men of olden time maybe but nowadays he'd just be drowned brand going farewell the peasant you throw your life away 
brand if god should haply need its loss then welcome chasm and flood and foss the peasant to himself nay but his wits are gone astray the son half crying come away father see how black with coming tempest is the rack brand stopping and approaching again here peasant you at first professed your daughter by the fjord side lying had sent you word that she was dying but could not with a gladsome breast until she saw you go to rest the peasant that's certain as i hope for bliss brand and as her last day mentioned this the peasant yes brand not a later the peasant no brand then come the peasant the thing's impossible turn home brand looking fixedly at him listen would you give twenty pound if she might have a blessed release the peasant yes parson brand forty the peasant house and ground i'd very gladly sign away if so she might expire in peace brand but would you also give your life the peasant what life my good friend brand well the peasant scratching his head nay nay i draw the line somewhere or other in jesus name remember pray at home i've children and a wife brand he whom you mention had a mother the peasant ay that was in the times of yore then marvels were of every day such things don't happen any more brand go home you travel in death's track you know not god god knows not you the peasant who you are stern the son pulling him away come back come back the peasant ay ay but he must follow too brand must i the peasant ay if i let you bide up here in this accursed weather and rumour told what we can't hide that you and we set out together i'm hauled some morning to the dock and if you're drowned in flood and fen i'm sentenced to the bolt and lock brand you suffer in god's service then the peasant nor his nor yours is my affair my own is hard enough to bear come then brand farewell a hollow roar is heard in the distance the sun shrieking an avalanche roar brand to the peasant who has seized his collar off the peasant nay brand this instant the sun stay no more the peasant struggling with brand nay devil take me brand shakes him off and throws him down in the snow that depend on it he will do in the end goes the peasant sitting and rubbing his arm ow ow his arms an iron rod and that's what he calls serving god calling as he gets up ho oh, priest the son he's gone athwart the hill the peasant ay but i see him glimmer still calling again hear me if you remember say where was it that we lost the way brand in the mist you need no cross to point you right the broad and beaten track you tread the peasant god grant it were but as he said and i'd sit snug at home to-night he and his son retire eastwards brand reappears higher up and listens in the direction in which the peasant went homeward they grovel thou dull thrall if but thy feeble flesh were all if any spark of living will sprang in thee i had helped thee still with breaking back and feet way-worn lightly and swift i had thee borne but help is idle for the man who nothing wills but what he can goes further on ah life ah life why art thou then so passing sweet to mortal men in every weakling's estimation his own life does as grossly weigh as if the load of man's salvation upon his puny shoulders lay for every burden he's prepared god help us so his life be spared smiles as in recollection two thoughts in boyhood broke upon me and spasms of laughter in me woke and from our ancient school dame won me many a just and bitter stroke an owl i fancied scared by night 
a fish that had the water fright i sought to banish them in vain they clung like leeches to my brain whence rose that laughter in my mind ah from the gulf dimly divined between the living world we see and the world as it ought to be between enduring what we must and murmuring it is unjust ah whole or sickly great or small such owls such fishes are we all born to be tenants of the deep born to be exiles from the sun this even this does us appall we dash against the beetling steep our starry vaulted home we shun and crying to heaven bootless pray for air and the glad flames of day pauses a moment starts and listens what do i hear a sound of singing ay blended song and laughter ringing with now a cheer and now a hallo another and another follow lo the sun rises the mist lifts already through the breaking rifts the illimitable heights i see and now that joyous company stands out against the morning light upon the summit of the height their shadows taper to the west farewells are uttered hands are pressed and now they part the others move eastward away to westward wend and waving hats and kerchiefs send their farewell messages of love the sun gradually breaks through and disperses the mist brand stands and looks down on the two as they approach how the light glitters round these two it is as if the mist took flight and flowering heather clothed the height and heaven laughed round them where they go brother and sister hand in hand they spring along the hill together she scarcely stirs the dewy heather and he is lissom as a wand now she darts back he rushes after now slips aside eludes his aim out of their gambols grows a game and hark a song out of their laughter einar and agnes in light summer dress both of them warm and glowing come playing across the level the mist is gone a bright summer morning lies on the mountains einar agnes my beautiful butterfly playfully shalt thou be caught i am weaving a net and its meshes fine are all of my music wrought agnes dancing backwards and always eluding him and am i a butterfly dainty and slight let me sip of the heather bell blue and art thou a boy let me be thy sport but oh not thy captive too einar agnes my beautiful butterfly i have woven my meshes so thin and never availeth thy fluttering flight soon art thou my captive within agnes and am i a butterfly young and bright full joyously i can play but if in thy net i a captive lie o oh, touch not my wings i pray einar nay i will lift thee with tender hand and lock thee up in my breast and there thou shalt play thy whole life long at the game thy heart loves best they have unwittingly approached a sheer precipice and are now close to the edge brand calls down to them hold hold you stand by an abyss einar who calls us agnes pointing up see brand heed where you go your feet are on the hollow snow that overhangs a precipice einar clasping her and laughing up to brand needless for her and me your fears agnes we have a whole life long to play einar in sunshine lies our destined way and ends but with a hundred years brand and then you perish so agnes waving her veil no then we fly to heaven and play again einar a hundred years to revel given each night the bridal lamps aflame a century of glorious gain brand and then einar then home again to heaven brand aha so that is whence you came einar of course how should we not come thence agnes that is our very latest flight is from the valley eastward hence brand i think i saw you on the height einar ay it was there on those loved faces even but now we looked our last and with clasped hands kisses embraces 
sealed all our tender memories fast come down to us and i will tell how god's been good beyond compare and you shall all our gladness share pooh stand not like an icicle come thaw now there i like you so first i'm a painter you must know and even this to me was sweet to lend my fancy wings and feet in colours to bid life arise as he of grubs breeds butterflies but god surpassed himself when he my agnes gave me for my bride i came from travels over sea my painter's satchel at my side agnes eagerly glad as a king and fresh and free and knew a thousand songs beside einar just as the village i passed through she chanced to dwell an inmate there she longed to taste the upland air the scented woods the sun the dew me god into the mountains drew my heart cried out seek beauty's might in forests dim in rivers bright in flying clouds beneath the blue then i achieved my height of art a rosy flush upon her cheek two joyous eyes that seemed to speak a smile whose music filled the heart agnes for you though all that art was vain you drank life's beaker blind and rapt and then one sunny morn again stood staff in hand and baggage strapped einar then suddenly the thought occurred why friend the wooing is for god hurrah i asked she gave her word and all was settled on the spot our good old doctor like a boy was all beside himself with joy so three whole days and whole nights three held revelry for her and me mayor and constable clerk and priest all the grown youth was at the feast last night we left but not for that the revel or the banquet ceased with bannered pole and wreathed hat up over bank on over bray our comrades brought us on our way agnes the mountainside we danced along in couples now and now in groups einar drank luscious wine from silver stoops agnes awoke the summer night with song einar and the thick mist before our feet beat an obsequious retreat brand and now your way lies einar to the town before us agnes to my parents home einar first over yonder peak then down to the fjord haven in the west on aegir's courser through the foam ride homeward to the bridal feast so to the sunny south together like paired swans in their first flight brand and there einar a life of summer weather a dream a legend of delight for on this sabbath morn have we high on the hills without a priest from fear and sorrow been released and consecrated to gaiety brand by whom einar by all the merry crowd with ringing glasses every cloud was banished that might dash the leaves too rudely at our cottage eaves out of our speech they put to flight each warning word of stormy showers and hailed us garlanded with flowers the true-born children of delight brand going farewell ye two einar starting and looking more closely at him i pray you hold something familiar in your face brand coldly i am a stranger einar yet a trace surely there lingers of an old friend of my school days brand school friends true but now i am no more a boy einar can it be cries out suddenly brand it is oh joy brand from the first moment i knew you einar well met a thousand times well met look at me ay the old brand yet still centred on the things within whom never any one could win to join our gambols brand you forget that i was homeless and alone yet you at least i loved i own you children of the southern land were fashioned of another clay than i born by a rocky strand in shadow of a barren bray einar your home is here i think brand my way lies past it einar past what further brand far beyond beyond my home einar 
you are a priest brand smiling a mission preacher say i wander like the woodland hare and where i am my home is there einar and whither is your last resort brand sternly and quickly inquire not einar wherefore brand changing his tone ah then no the ship that stays for you below shall bear me also from the port einar hurrah my bridal courser true think agnes he is coming too brand but i am to a burial bound agnes a burial einar you why who is dead brand the god who was your god you said agnes shrinking back come einar einar brand brand with cerements wound the god of each mechanic slave of each dull drudger shall be laid by broad day in his open grave end of the matter must be made and high time is it you should know he ailed a thousand years ago einar brand you are ill brand no sound and fresh as juniper and mountain pine it is our age whose pining flesh craves burial at these hands of mine ye will but laugh and love and play a little doctrine take on trust and all the bitter burden thrust on one who came ye have been told and from your shoulders took away your great transgressions manifold he bore for you the cross the lance ye therefore have full leave to dance dance then but where your dancing ends is quite another thing my friends einar ah i perceive the latest cry that folks are so much taken by you come of the new brood who hold that life is only gilded mould and with god's penal fires and flashes hound all the world to sack and ashes brand no i am no evangelist i speak not as the church's priest that i'm a christian even i doubt that i'm a man though i know well and that i see the cancer fell that eats our country's marrow out einar smiling i never heard i must confess our country taxed with being given to worldly pleasure in excess brand no by delight no breast is riven were it but so the ill were less be passion's slave be pleasure's thrall but be it utterly all in all be not to-day to-morrow one another when a year is gone be what you are with all your heart and not by pieces and in part the bacchants clear defined complete the sot his sordid counterfeit silenus charms but all his graces the drunkard's parody debases traverse the land from beach to beach try every man in heart and soul you'll find he has no virtue whole but just a little grain of each a little pious in the pew a little grave his father's way over the cup a little gay it was his father's fashion too a little warm when glasses clash and stormy cheer and song go round for the small folk rock willed rock bound that never stood the scourge and lash a little free in promise making and then when vows and liquor willed must be in mortal stress fulfilled a little fine in promise breaking yet as i say all fragments still his faults his merits fragments all partial in good partial in ill partial in great things and in small but here's the grief that worst or best each fragment of him wrecks the rest einar scoffing's an easy task it were a nobler policy to spare brand perhaps if it were wholesome too einar well well the indictment i endorse with all my heart but can't divine what in the world it has to do with him the god you count a course whom yet i still acknowledge mine brand my genial friend your gift is art show me the god you have averred him you have painted i have heard and touched the honest people's heart old is he haply am i right einar well yes brand of course and doubtless white hairs straggling on a reverend head a beard of ice or silver thread kindly yet stern enough to fright a pack of children in the night i will not ask you if your god with fireside slippers you have shod 
but twere a pity without doubt to leave skull-cap and glasses out einar angrily what do you mean brand i do not flout just so he looks in form and face the household idol of our race as catholics make of the redeemer a baby at the breast so ye make god a dotard and a dreamer verging on second infancy and as the pope on peter's throne calls little but his keys his own so to the church you would confine the world-wide realm of the divine twixt life and doctrine set a sea no wise concern yourselves to be bliss for your souls ye would receive not utterly and wholly live ye need such feebleness to brook a god who'll through his fingers look who like yourselves is hoary grown and keeps a cap for his bald crown mine is another kind of god mine is a storm where thine's a lull implacable where thine's a clod all loving there where thine is dull and he is young like hercules no hoary sipper of life's lees his voice rang through the dazzled night when he within the burning wood by moses upon horeb's height as by a pygmy's pygmy stood in gibeon's vale he stayed the sun and wonders without end has done and wonders without end would do were not the age grown sick like you einar smiling faintly and now the age shall be made whole brand it shall i say and that as sure as that i came to earth to cure the sapping fester of its soul einar shaking his head ere yet the radiant torchlight blazes throw not the taper to the ground nor blot the antiquated phrases before the great new words be found brand nothing that's new do i demand for everlasting right i stand it is not for a church i cry it is not dogmas i defend day dawned on both and possibly day may on both of them descend what's made has finis for its brand of moth and worm it feels the flaw and then by nature and by law is for an embryo thrust aside but there is one that shall abide the spirit that was never born that in the world's fresh gladsome morn was rescued when it seemed forlorn that built with valiant faith a road whereby from flesh it climbed to god now but in shreds and scraps is dealt the spirit we have faintly felt but from these scraps and from these shreds these headless hands and handless heads these torso stumps of soul and thought a man complete and whole shall grow and god his glorious child shall know his heir the adam that he wrought einar breaking off farewell i judge that it were best we parted brand you are going west i northward to the fjord from here two pathways lead both alike near farewell einar farewell brand turning round again light learn to part from vapour know that life's an art einar waving him off go turn the universe upside down still in my ancient god i trust brand good paint his crutches and his crown i go to lay him in the dust disappears over the pass einar goes silently to the edge and looks after him agnes stands a moment lost in thought then starts looks about her uneasily and asks is the sun set already einar nay a shadowing cloud and now tis past agnes the wind is cold einar only a blast that hurried by here lies our way agnes yon mountain southward sure till now wore not that black and beetling brow einar thou saw'st it not for game and glee ere with his cry he startled thee let him pursue his toilsome track and we will to our gambols back agnes no now i'm weary einar and indeed i'm weary too to tell the truth and here our footing asks more heed than on yon upland broad and smooth but once we're on the level plain we'll dance defiantly once more ay in a tenfold wilder vein and tenfold swifter than before see agnes yon blue line that sparkles fresh from the young sun's morning kiss 
and now it dimples and now darkles silver one moment amber this it is the ocean glad and free that in the distance thou dost see and seest thou the smoky track in endless line to leeward spread and seest thou the point of black just rounding now the furthest head it is the steamer thine and mine and now it speeds into the fjord then out into the foaming brine to-night with thee and me on board the mists have veiled the mountain brow saw'st thou how vividly but now heaven's image in the water woke agnes looking absently about her oh yes but tell me sawest thou einar what agnes in a hushed voice without looking at him how he towered as he spoke she goes down over the pass einar follows a path along the crags with a wild valley beyond to the right above and beyond the mountain are glimpses of greater heights with peaks and snow brand comes up along the path descends stops halfway upon a jutting crag and gazes into the valley yes i know myself once more every boathouse by the shore every home the landslip fall and the inlet's fringe of birch and the ancient mouldered church and the river alders all from my boyhood i recall but methinks it all has grown greyer smaller than i knew yon snow cornice hangs more prone than of old it used to do from that scanty heaven encloses yet another strip of blue beetles looms immures imposes steals of light a larger dew sits down and gazes into the distance and the fjord too crouched it then in so drear and deep a den tis a squall a square-rigged skiff scuds before it to the land southward shadowed by the cliff i descry a wharf a shed then a farmhouse painted red tis the farm beside the strand tis the widow's farm the home of my childhood thronging come memories born of memories dead i where yonder breakers roll grew a lonely infant soul like a nightmare on my heart weighs the burden of my birth knit to one who walks apart with her spirit set to earth all the high emprise that stirred in me now is veiled and blurred force and valour from me fail heart and soul grow faint and frail as i near my home i change to my very self grow strange wake as baffled samson woke shorn and fettered tamed and broke looks again down into the valley what is stirring down below out of every garth they flow troops of children wives and men and in long lines meet and mingle now among the rocks and shingle vanish now emerge again to the ancient church they go rises oh i know you through and through sluggard spirits souls of lead all the lord's prayer said by you is not with such anguish sped by such passion borne on high that one tittle thrills the sky as a ringing human cry save the prayer for daily bread that's this people's battle call that's the blazon of them all from its context plucked apart branded deep in every heart there it lies the tempest-tossed wreckage of the faith you've lost forth out of this stifling pit vault-like is the air of it not a flag may float unfurled in this dead and windless world he is going a stone is thrown from above and rolls down the slope close by him brand calling upward ha who throws stones there gert a girl of fifteen running along the crest with stones in her apron ho good aim he screams she throws again brand hello child stop that game gert without a hurt he's sitting now and swinging on a wind-swept bough she throws again and screams now fierce as ever he's making for me help who with claws he'll rend and gore me brand in the lord's name gert whist who are you hold still hold still he's flying brand who gert didn't you see the falcon fly brand here no gert the laidly fowl with crest thwart on its sloping brow depressed and red and yellow circled eye brand which is your way gert to church i go brand 
then we can go along together gert pointing upward we but the way i'm bound is thither brand pointing downward but yonder is the church you know gert pointing downward with a scornful smile that yonder brand truly come with me gert no yon is ugly brand ugly why gert because it's small brand where did you see a greater gert i could tell you i farewell she turns away upwards brand lies there that church of yours why that way leads but to the moors gert come with me you i've got to show a church that's built of ice and snow brand of ice and snow i see the truth there amid peak and precipice as i remember from my youth there yawns a cavernous abyss ice church they called the place of old and of it many a tale was told a frozen tarn has paved the floor aloft in massy piled blocks the gathered snowdrifts slope and soar arch-like o'er the yawning rocks gert it seems a mountain cleft ah yes it is a church though none the less brand never go there a sudden gust has often cracked that hollow crust a rifle-shot a scream a whoop gert without listening to him just come and see a reindeer troop gulfed in the fall and never found till spring and the great thaw came round brand yonder is danger go not near it gert pointing down yonder is foulness thou must fear it brand god's peace be with you gert nay this way pass yonder the cataract singing mass there on the crags the whistling weather preaches you hot and cold together thither the hawk will ne'er steal in down down he sweeps from svartetin yonder he sits the ugly block like my church steeple's weathercock brand wild is thy way and wild thy soul a cittern with a shattered bowl of dullness dullness is the brood but evil's lightly won to good gert with whirring wings i hear him come i'll e'en make shift to get me home in yonder church i'm safe farewell he's on me Hoo! how fierce and fell she screams i'll throw a stone no nearer now if thou hast talons i've a bow she runs off up the mountain brand after a pause this was a church-goer like the rest mountain or dale church which is best which wildest reel which blindest grope which furthest roam from home and hope light heart who crowned with leafage gay loves by the dizziest verge to play faint heart who marches slack and slow because old want will have it so wild heart who borne on lawless wings sees fairness in the foulest things war front and rear war high and low with this fell triple banded foe i see my call it gleams ahead like sunshine through a loophole shed i know my task these demons slain the sick earth shall grow sound again once let them to the grave be given the fever fumes of earth shall fly up soul array thee sword from thigh to battle for the heirs of heaven he descends to the hamlet end of act one Recording by Expatriate in Bangor, Maine. One of Brand by Henrik Ibsen. Translated by Charles Harold Herford, 1853 to 1931. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain recording by expatriate in bangor maine act two part one by the fjord side steep precipices all around the ancient and tumble-down church stands on a little knoll hard by a storm is coming on the country folk men women and children are gathered in knots some on the shore some on the slopes the mayor sits in the midst on a stone a clerk is helping him corn and provisions are being distributed einar and agnes stand surrounded by a crowd a little apart 
some boats lie on the beach brand comes forward unnoticed to the church knoll a man breaking through the crowd out of the way a woman i'm first the man thrusting her aside get back pushing towards the mayor ho look you fill me up my sack the mayor all in good time the man i cannot stay i four five babes of bread bereft the mayor facetiously you don't know just how many eh the man one was e'en dying when i left the mayor hold you are entered are you not examines his papers no yes you are though well for you to the clerk give number twenty nine his lot come come good folks be patient do nils snemeyer a man ay ay the mayor we must pare a quarter off your former share you're fewer now you know the man yes yes my ranyil died yestreen the mayor making a note one less saving is saving howsoe'er to the man who is retiring but look you now you needn't run and marry another on the spot clerk sniggering he <laughs> he the mayor sharply you laugh clerk your worship's fun is irresistible the mayor have done this works no jesting but the best method with mourners is a jest einar coming out of the throng with agnes now my last pockets clean and bare spent every stiver every note a very beggar i go afloat and pawn my watch to pay my fare the mayor yes in good time you came along what i've collected is a song by no means answers to the call when needy hand and mouth ill-fed must have the sharing of shared bread with those who've ne'er a bit at all he perceives brand and points up to him one more you're welcome if report of our drought flood and famine curse has reached you promptly loose your purse if yet unloosened every sort of contribution meets the case our stores nigh spent five fishes scant in the wide wilderness of want don't make a square meal nowadays brand myriads idolatrously given would lift the soul no nearer heaven the mayor it was not words i bade you share they're barren when the belly's bare einar i can't believe that you recall what long and fierce calamities they've suffered famine drought disease men die brand brand i perceive it all each livid circled eye makes clear who it is holds assizes here the mayor yet there you stand a very flint brand if life here ran its sluggish round of common toil and common stint pity with me your pangs had found who homeward crawls with earth-set eyes in him the sleeping beast will rise when days in drowsy calm go by like funerals at walking pace you well may fear that the most high has struck you from his book of grace but unto you he was more good he scattered terror in your blood he scourged you with the rods that slay the gifts he gave he took away voices fiercely interrupting him he mocks us in our bitter need the mayor he rails at us who tend and feed brand shaking his head oh if the blood of all my heart could heal you from the hunger smart in welling streams it should be shed till every vein was a dry bed but here it were a sin to give god seeks to pluck you from your bane nations though poor and sparse that live suck might and marrow from their pain the purblind sight takes falcon wings sees clear into the heart of things the faltering will stands stout at bay and sees the triumph through the fray but men whom misery has not manned are worthless of the saving hand a woman yonder a storm breaks on the fjord as if awakened by his word another woman he tempts god mark what i foretell brand your god ne'er wrought a miracle women see see the storm voices among the throng stab stone him chase the flinty fellow from the place the peasants close menacingly round brand the mayor intervenes a woman wild and dishevelled comes hurriedly down the slopes the woman crying out towards the throng oh where is help for jesus grace the mayor what do you need explain your case the woman 
nothing i need no alms i seek but oh the horror horror the mayor speak the woman i have no voice o oh, comfort aid where is the priest the mayor here there is none the woman i am undone i am undone stern wast thou god when i was made brand approaching maybe however there is one the woman seizing his arm then let him come and swiftly brand tell your need and he will surely come the woman across the fjord my husband brand well the woman three starving babes and ne'er a crumb say no he is not sent to hell brand your story first the woman my breast was dry man sent no help and god was dumb my babe was dying in agony cut to the heart his child he slew brand he slew the throng shuddering his child the woman at once he knew the horror of his deed of blood his grief ran brimming like a flood he struck himself the death wound too come save him save him from perdition spite of wild water and wild sky he cannot live and dare not die there lies he clasping the dead frame and shrieking on the devil's name brand quietly yes here is need einar pale great god on high the mayor he doesn't live in my division brand curtly to the peasants unmoor a boat and row me there a man when such a storm is up who dare the mayor a path goes round the fjord the woman nay nay there's now no practicable way the footbridge as i came across was broken by the foaming foss brand unmoor the boat a man it can't be done or rock and reef the breakers run another down sweeps a blast see at a stroke the whole fjord vanishes in smoke a third with waves so wild and wind so rough the dean would put the service off brand a sinful soul that nears its end waits not until the weather mend goes down to a boat and looses the sail you'll risk the boat the owner i will but stay brand now who will risk his life i say a man i'll not go with him another no nor i several it were just putting out to die brand your god helps none across the fjord remember though that mine's on board the woman wringing her hands he'll die unsaved brand calling from the boat one will avail to bail the leakage shift the sail come one of you that lately gave give now to death and to the grave several shrinking back never ask such like of us one menacingly land tis over bold to tempt god's hand several voices see the storm thickens others the ropes break brand holding himself fast with the boat hook and calling to the strange woman good come then you but speedily the woman shrinking back i where no others brand let them be the woman i cannot brand cannot the woman my babe's sake brand scornfully laughing you build upon a quaking sand agnes turns with glowing cheeks to einar lays her hand on his arm and says did you hear all einar a valiant heart agnes thank god einar you see your part calls to brand see here is one man brave and true to go the saving way with you brand come on then einar pale i agnes i give you go mine eyes are lifted that were low einar ere i found you with willing feet i would have followed where he led agnes trembling but now einar my life is new and sweet i cannot go agnes starting back what have you said einar i dare not go agnes with a cry now roars a sea of sweeping flood and surging foam world wide world deep twixt you and me to brand i will go with you brand good then come 
einar clutching desperately after her agnes the whole throng hurrying towards her come back come back women in terror as she springs into the boat help lord brand where does the house lie women pointing by the fjord behind yon black and jutting brink the boats put out einar calling after them your home your mother agnes think oh save yourself agnes we are three on board the boat sails the people crowd together on the slopes and watch in eager suspense a man he clears the headland another nay the first yes see astern he has it and in lee another a squall it's caught them the mayor look at that the wind has swept away his hat a woman black as a rook's wing his wet hair streams backward on the angry air first man all seethes and surges einar what a yell rang through the storm a woman twas from the fell another pointing up see there stands gerd upon the cliff hallooing at the passing skiff first woman she's flinging pebbles like witch corn and blowing through a twisted horn second woman now she has slung it like a wand and pipes upon her hollowed hand a man ay pipe away thou troll abhorred he has a guide and guard on board another in a worse storm with him to steer i'd put to sea and never fear first man to einar what is he einar a priest second man what is he nay that's plain he is a man i say strong will is in him and bold deed first man that were the very priest we need many voices ay ay the very priest we need they disperse along the slopes the mayor collecting his books and papers well tis opposed to all routine to labour in a strange vocation intrusively to risk one's skin without an adequate occasion i do my duty with precision but always in my own division goes outside the hut on the ness late afternoon the fjord is smooth and gleaming agnes is sitting by the beach presently brand comes out of the hut brand that was death the horror rifted bosom at its touch grew whole now he looks a calm great soul all illumined and uplifted has a false illusion might out of gloom to win such light out of his devil's deed he saw nothing but the outward flaw that of it which tongue can tell and to hands is palpable that for which his name's reviled the brute slaying of his child but those two that sat and gazed with great frightened eyes amazed speechless like two closely couching birdlets in the ingle crouching who but looked and looked and ever looked unwitting upon what in whose souls a poison spot bit and sank which they shall never even as old men bent and grey in time's turmoil wear away they whose tide of life proceeds from this fountain of affright who by dark and dreadful deeds must be nurtured into light nor by any purging flames may that carrion thought consume this he saw not being blind that the direst of the doom was the doom he left behind and from them shall haply rise linked offences one by one wherefore the abyss replies from the father sprang the son what shall be by love erased what be quietly effaced where oh where does guilt begin in our heritage of sin what assizes what assessors when that judgment is declared who shall question who be heard where we're all alike transgressors who will venture then to plead his foul borrowed title deed will the old answer profit yet from my father dates my debt oh abysmal as the night riddle who can read thee right but the people dance light-footed heedless by the dizzy brink where the soul should cry and shrink none has vision to perceive what uptowering guilt is rooted in that little word we live some men of the community come from behind the house and approach brand a man we were to meet again you see brand his need of human help has ceased the man 
yes he is ransomed and released but in the chamber still sit three brand and what then the man of the scraps we got together a few crumbs we brought brand though you give all and life retain i tell you that your gift is vain the man had he to-day who now lies dead by mortal peril been bested and i had heard his foundering cry i also would have dared to die brand but peril of the soul you slight the man well we're but drudgers day by day brand then from the downward streaming light turn your eyes utterly away and cease to cast the left askance at heaven while with the right you glance down at the mould where crouching low self-harnessed in the yoke you go the man i thought you'd say we ought to shake us free of the yoke we toil in brand yea if you are able the man you can make us brand can i the man full many have been sent who told us truly of the way the path they pointed to you went brand you mean the man a thousand speeches brand less deeply than one dint of deed here in our fellow's name we stand we see a man is what we need brand uneasily what will you with me the man be our priest brand i here the man you have maybe heard it told there is no pastor for this fold brand yes i recall the man the place of old was large which now is of the least when evil seasons froze the field and blight on herd and herdsmen fell when want struck down the man and sealed the spirit with its drowsing spell when there was dearth of beef and brew then came a dearth of parsons too brand aught else but this ye must not ask i'm summoned to a greater task the great world's open ear i seek through life's vast organ i must speak what should i hear by mountains pent the voice of man falls impotent the man by mountains echoed longer heard is each reverberating word brand who in a cavern would be bound when broad meads beckon all around who'll sweat to plough the barren land when there are fruitful fields at hand who'll rear his fruitage from the seed when orchards ripen to the skies who'll struggle on with daily need when vision gives him wings and eyes the man shaking his head your deed i fathomed not your word brand going question no more on board on board the man barring his way this calling that you must fulfil this work whereon you've set your will is it so precious to you say brand it is my very life the man then stay pointedly though you give all in life retain remember that your gift is vain brand one thing is yours you may not spend your very inmost self of all you may not bind it may not bend nor stem the river of your call to make for ocean is its end the man though tarn and moorland held it fast as dew twould reach the sea at last brand looking fixedly at him who gave you power to answer thus the man you by your deed you gave it us when wind and water raged and roared and you launched out through wind and wave when a poor sinning soul to save you set your life upon a board deep into many a heart it fell like wind and sunshine cold and hot rang through them like a chiming bell with lowered voice to-morrow haply all's forgot and furled the kindling banner bright you just now lifted in our sight brand duty is not where power is not sternly if you cannot be what you ought be in good earnest what you may be heart and soul a man of clay the man after gazing on him a moment woe you who quenched the lamp you lit and us who had a glimpse of it he goes the others silently follow end of act two part one recording by expatriate in bangor maine
two part two of brand by henrik ibsen translated by charles harold herford eighteen fifty three to nineteen thirty one this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by expatriate in bangor maine act two part two brand after long watching them homewards one by one with flagging spirits heavily and slow foreheads bowed and weary lagging footsteps silently they go each with sorrow in his eyes walks as from a lifted rod walks like adam spurned by god from the gates of paradise walks like him with sin veiled sight sees like him the gathering night all his gain of knowledge shares all his loss of blindness bears i have boldly dared to plan the refashioning of man there's my work sin's image grown whom god moulded in his own forth to wider fields away here's no room for battle play going but pauses as he sees agnes by the beach see she listens by the shore as to airy songs afloat so she listened in the boat as the stormy surge it tore listening to the thwart she clung listening still the sea-foam hoar from her open forehead flung tis as though her ear were changing function and her eye were listening he approaches maiden is it o'er those glistening reaches that your eye is ranging agnes without turning round neither those nor aught of earth nothing of them i descry but a greater earth there gleams sharply outlined on the sky foaming floods and spreading streams mists and sunshine breaking forth scarlet shafted flames are playing over cloud-capped mountain heads and an endless desert spreads whereupon great palms are swaying in the bitter breathing blast swart the shadows that they cast nowhere any living thing like a new world at its birth and i hear strange accents ring and a voice interpreting choose thy endless loss or gain do thy work and bear thy pain thou shalt people this new earth brand carried away say what further agnes laying her hand on her breast in my soul i can feel new powers awaking i can see a dayspring breaking i can feel full floods that roll and my heart grows larger freer clasps the world within its girth and a voice interprets here shalt thou people a new earth all the thoughts that men shall utter all the deeds men shall achieve waken whisper quiver mutter as if now they were to live and i rather feel than see him who sits enthroned above feel that he looks down on me full of sadness and of love tender bright as morning's breath and yet sorrowing unto death and i hear strange accents wake now thou must be made and make choose thy endless loss or gain do thy work and bear thy pain brand inwards in o word of might now i see my way aright in ourselves is that young earth ripe for the divine new birth will the fiend must there be slain adam there be born again let the world then take its way brutal toil or giddy play but if e'er we meet in fight if my work it seek to blight then by heaven i'll smite and slay room within the wide world span self completely to fulfil that's a valid right of man and no more than that i will after pondering a while in silence to fulfil oneself and yet with a heritage of debt pauses and looks out who is she that stooping deep clambers hither up the steep crooked back and craning crop now for breath she has to stop clutches wildly lest she stumble and her skinny fingers fumble fierce for something that she drags in those deep and roomy bags skirt like folds of feathered skin dangling down her shrivelled shin hands a pair of clenched hooks so the eagle's carcass looks nailed against the barn door top in sudden anguish what chill memories upstart oh what gusts from childhood dart frosty showers on her and other fiercer frost upon my heart god of grace it is my mother brand's mother comes up stops when half seen above the slope holds her hand up to shade her eyes and looks round he's here they told me coming nearer drat the blaze it nearly takes away my sight son is that you brand yes his mother rubbing her eyes Whew. 
those rays they burn one's very eyes outright i can't tell priest from boor brand sun's light at home i never saw at all twixt fall of leaf and cuckoo's call his mother laughing quietly ah there tis good one's gripped with frost like icicles o'er a plunging river strong to dare anything whatever and yet believe one is not lost brand farewell my leisure time is spent his mother ay thou wast ever loath to stay as boy thou longst to be away brand it was at your desire i went his mother ay and good reason too i say twas needful thou shouldst be a priest examines him more closely hm he is grown up strong and tall but heed this word of mine at least care for thy life son brand is that all his mother thy life what's dearer brand i would say have you more counsels to convey his mother for others use them as you may and welcome but thy life oh save it for my sake it was i that gave it angrily your mad deeds talked of far and near it scares and harrows me to hear on such a day to dare the fjord and squander what you're bound to hoard you of our clan survive alone you are my son my flesh and bone the roof-tree beam that copes and clinches the house i build it up by inches stick fast hold out endure survive guard your life never let it go an heir is bound to keep alive and you'll be mine one day you know brand indeed and that was why you planned with loaded purse to seek me here his mother son are you raving steps back don't come near stay where you are you'll feel my hand more calmly what were you meaning just attend i'm getting older year by year sooner or later comes the end then you'll inherit all i've treasured tis duly counted weighed and measured nay nay i've nothing on me now it's all at home it is but scant but he that gets it will not want stand back there don't come near i vow i'll fling no stiver of my store down fissures nor in spot unknown hide any nor below a stone in wall or underneath a floor all shall be yours son you shall be my sole and single legatee brand and the conditions his mother one i make no more don't set your life at stake keep up our family and name that's all the gratitude i claim then see that nothing go to waste naught be divided or displaced add much or little as you will but oh preserve preserve it still brand after a short pause one thing needs clearing twixt us two from childhood i have thwarted you you've been no mother i no son till you are grey my childhood gone his mother i do not ask to be caressed be what you please i am not nice be stern be fierce be cold as ice it will not cleave my armoured breast keep though you heard it what was mine and never let it leave our line brand going a step nearer and if i took it in my head to strew it to the winds instead his mother reeling back strew what through all these years of care has bent my back and bleached my hair brand nodding slowly to strew it his mother strew it if you do it is my soul that you will strew brand and if i do it even so if i one evening vigil keep with lighted taper by your bed while you with clasped psalter sleep the first night slumber of the dead if i then fumble round about draw treasure after treasure out take up the taper hold it low his mother approaching excitedly whence comes this fancy brand would you know his mother i brand from a childish scene that still lives in my mind and ever will that seems my soul with foul device like an infestering cicatrice it was an autumn evening dead was father you lay sick in bed i stole where he was laid by night all pallid in the silver light i stood and watched him from my nook saw how his two hands clasped the book i marvelled why he slept so long marked his thin wrists and smelt the strong odour of linen newly dried and then i heard a step outside a woman entered strode apace up to the bed nor saw my face then she began to grope and pry first put the corpse's vesture by 
drew forth a bundle then a store counted and whispered there is more then grubbing deeper in the ground clutched a sealed packet tightly bound with trembling fingers strove and tore bit it in two groped deeper found counted and whispered there is more she cried she cursed she wailed she wept she scented where the treasure lay and then with eager anguish swept down like a falcon on her prey when she had ransacked all the room she turned like one who hears her doom wrapped up her booty in a shawl and faintly groaned so that was all his mother i needed much i little won and very dearly was it bought brand even more dearly than you thought son's heart you shattered in your son his mother tut tut to barter hearts for gold was customary from of old still dearer once i had to pay i think i gave my life away something i gave that now is not i seem to see it flash in air like something foolish and yet fair i gave i know not rightly what love was the name it used to bear i know it was a bitter choice i know my father gave his voice forget the peasant boy and wed the other spite his frosty pate a fellow with a knowing head he'll fairly double the estate i took him and he brought me shame the doubled gettings never came but i have drudged with streaming brow and there is little lacking now brand and do you as you near your grave know that it was your soul you gave his mother it's clear that i knew that at least giving my son to be a priest when the hour comes a grateful heir of my salvation will take care i own the acres and the pence and you the deathbed eloquence brand with all your cunning you mistook you read me wrong in childhood's book and many dwell by bank and bray who love their children in that way a child's a steward you suppose of the parental cast-off clothes a glimpse of the eternal flits at times across your wandering wits you snatch at it and dream you spring into the essence of the thing by grafting riches upon race that death with life you can displace that years if steadily amassed will yield eternity at last his mother don't rummage in your mother's mind but take what she will leave behind brand the debt as well his mother the debt what debt there is none brand very good but yet suppose there were i should be bound to settle every claim i found the son must satisfy each call before the mother's burial though but four empty walls i took i still should own your debit book his mother no law commands it brand not the kind that ink on parchment ever writ but deep in every honest mind another law is burnt and bit and that i execute thou blind learn to have sight thou hast debased the dwelling-place of god on earth the spirit he lent thee hast laid waste the image that thou borest at birth with mould and filthiness defaced thy soul that once had flight and song thrust clipped among the common throng that is your debt what will you do when god demands his own of you his mother confused what will i do do brand never fear i take your debt upon me whole god's image blotted in your soul in mine will cleansed shall stand clear go with good courage to your rest by debt you shall not sleep oppressed his mother my debt and sin you'll wipe away brand your debt observe the debt no more your debt alone i can repay your sin yourself must answer for the sum of native human worth crushed in the brutish toil of earth can verily by human aid to the last atom be repaid but in the losing of it lies the sin which who repents not dies his mother uneasily twere best i took my homeward way to the deep valley to the gloom such rank and poisonous fancies bloom in this insufferable ray i'm almost fainting at the fume brand seek you the shadow i abide and if you long for light and sky and fain would see me ere you die call me and i am by your side his mother yes with a sermon on my doom brand no tender both as priest and child i'll shield you from the wind of dread and singing low beside your bed lull to repose your anguish wild his mother and that with lifted hand you swear brand when you repent i will be there 
approaching her but i too make conditions here whatever in this world is dear willingly you must from you rend and naked to the grave descend his mother wildly repulsing him bid fire be severed from its heat snow from its cold wave from its wet ask less brand toss a babe overboard and beg the blessing of the lord his mother ask something else ask hunger thirst but not what all men deem the worst brand if just that worst is asked in vain no other can his grace obtain his mother a money alms i will present you brand all his mother all son will not much content you brand your guilt you never shall put by till you like job in ashes die his mother wringing her hands my life destroyed my soul denied my good soon scattered far and wide home then and in these fond arms twine all that i still can say is mine my treasure child in anguish born for thee my bleeding breast was torn home then and weep as mothers weep o'er their sickly babes asleep why did my soul in flesh take breath if love of flesh is the soul's death stay near me priest i am not clear how i shall feel when death is near naked into the grave descend i'll wait at least until the end brand gazing after her yes thy son shall still be near call to him and he shall hear stretch thy hand and cold and perished at his heart it shall be cherished goes down to agnes as the morn not so the night then my soul was set on fight then i heard the war-drum rattle yearn the sword of wrath to swing lies to trample trolls to fling fill the world with clashing battle agnes has turned round to him and looks radiantly up by the night the morn was pale then i sought the joys that fail sought to triumph by attaining what in losing i am gaining brand vision stirring vision splendid like a flock of swans descended on their spreading wings upbore me and i saw my way before me sin subduer of the age sternly stemming seas that rage church processions banners streaming anthems rolling incense steaming golden goblets victor songs rapt applause of surging throngs made a glory where i fought all in dazzling hues was wrought yet it was an empty dream a brief mountain vision caught half in glare and half in gleam now i stand where twilight gray long forestalls the ebb of day twixt the water and the wild from the busy world exiled just a strip of heaven's blue dome visible but this is home now my sabbath dream is dark to the stall my winged steed but i see a higher mark than to wield the knightly sabre daily duty daily labour hallowed to a sabbath deed agnes and that god who was to fall brand he shall none the less be felled but in secret unbeheld not before the eyes of all now i see i judged astray where the folk's salvation lay not by high heroic charges can you make the people whole that which faculty enlarges does not heal the fissured soul it is will alone that matters will alone that mars or makes will that no distraction scatters and that no resistance breaks turns towards the hamlet where the shades of night are beginning to fall come then men who downcast roam the pent valley of my home close conversing we will try our own souls to purify slackness curb and falsehood kill rouse the lion's cub of will manly as the hands that smite are the hands that hold the hoe there's one end for all to grow tablets whereon god may write he is going einar confronts him einar stand and what you took restore brand is it she you see her there einar to agnes choose between the sunny shore and this savage den of care agnes there i have no choice to make einar agnes agnes hear me yet the old saying you forget light to lift and hard to bear agnes go with god thou tempter fair i shall bear until i break einar for thy mother's sister's sake agnes 
Bring my greetings to my home. I will write if words should come. Einar. Over ocean's gleaming breast white sails hurry from the strand. Like the sighs of dreaming brows, lofty diamond beaded prows speed them to their haven rest in a far off visioned land. Agnes. Sail to westward, sail to east. Think of me as one deceased. Einar. As a sister come with me. Agnes shaking her head. Twixt us rolls a boundless sea. Einar. Oh, then homeward to thy mother. Agnes softly. Not from master, friend, and brother. Brand coming a step nearer. Youthful maiden, weigh it well. In this mountain prison pent. Oversoared by crag and fell. In this dim and yawning rent. Life henceforward shall be grey. As an ebbing autumn day. Agnes gloom appalls no more afar through the cloud-rack gleams a star brand know that i am stern to crave all or nothing i will have if that call you disobey you have flung your life away no abatement in distress and for sin no tenderness if life service god refuse life you joyfully must lose einar fly this wild insensate play spurn the sullen doomer's sway live the life you know you may brand at the crossway stands thou choose goes einar choose the stillness or the strife for the choice to go or stay is a choice of calm or fray is a choice of night or day is a choice of death or life agnes rises and then says slowly on through death on into night dawn beyond glows rosy bright she follows where brand has gone einar gazes a moment in bewilderment after her then bows his head and goes back to the fjord end of act two recording by expatriate in bangor maine act three part one of brand by henrik ibsen translated by charles harold herford eighteen fifty three to nineteen thirty one this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by expatriate in bangor maine act three part one three years later a little garden by the parsonage a great precipice above a stone wall round the fjord narrow and pent in appears in the background the house door opens upon the garden afternoon brand is standing on the steps outside the house agnes is sitting on the step at his feet agnes my dearest husband still your eye over the fjord roves anxiously brand i wait a summons agnes with brows bent brand my mother's summons this three years i've waited between hopes and fears the summons that was never sent to-day twas told me past a doubt that her life span is almost out agnes softly and tenderly brand without summons you should go brand shakes his head till she of her offence repent i have no comfort to bestow agnes she is your mother brand it were sin to worship idols in my kin agnes brand you are stern brand to you agnes oh no brand i warned you that the way was steep agnes smiling it was not true you did not keep your word brand yes here the iced wind rives your cheek has lost its youthful glow your tender heart is touched with snow our home is built where nothing thrives amid a barren waste of stone agnes it lies the safer then so prone beetles yon jutting mountain wall that when the leafy spring is near the brimming avalanche vaults sheer over our heads and we lie clear as in the hollow of a fall brand the sun we never see at all agnes oh yet he dances warm and bright atop yon mountain that we face brand for three weeks true at summer's height but never struggles to its base agnes looks fixedly at him rises and says brand there's one thought at which you shrink brand no you agnes no you brand 
within you bear a secret terror agnes which you share brand you reel as from a dizzy brink out with it speak it out agnes tis true i've trembled whiles hesitates brand trembled at what agnes for alf brand for alf agnes and so have you brand at times but no god takes him not god's merciful my child shall grow to be a strong man yet i know where is he now agnes he's sleeping brand looks in through the door see of pain and grief he dreams not he the little hand is plump and round agnes yet pale brand but that will pass agnes how deep restful and quickening is his sleep brand god bless thee in thy sleep grow sound shuts the door to all my labours you and he have brought light and tranquillity each irksome task each mournful care twas easy in your midst to bear you near i never felt dismay grew braver by his baby play a martyrdom i held my call but something has transformed it all success still follows my footfall agnes yes brand but you deserve success oh you have battled in storm and stress toiled on through woe and weariness but tears of blood you wept apart brand and yet it seems so light a thing with you love stole upon my heart like a glad sunny day in spring in me love never had been lit no parents hand had kindled it rather they quenched the fitful flashes that gleamed at moments in the ashes it was as though the tender soul that mute and darkling in me slept had closely garnered all been kept to be my sweet wife's aureole agnes not mine alone but whosoe'er in our great household has a share each sorrowing son each needy brother each weeping child each mourning mother of quickening nurture have their part at the rich banquet of thy heart brand only through you two by your hand that heavenly bridge of love was spanned no single soul can all contain except it first have yearned for one i had to long and yearn in vain so my heart hardened into stone agnes and yet your love is merciless you chasten whom you would caress brand you agnes agnes me oh nay dear nay on me a lightsome load you lay but many falter at the call to offer nothing or else all brand what the world calls by that name love i know not and i reck not of god's love i recognize alone which melts not at the piteous plaint which is not moved by dying groan and its caress is chastisement what answered through the olive trees god when the sun in anguish lay praying oh take this cup away did he then take it nay child nay he made him drink it to the lees agnes by such a measure meted all the souls of earth are forfeited brand none knows on whom the doom shall fall but god in flaming speech hath said be faithful through the hour of strife haggling wins not the crown of life anguished repentance scales not heaven the martyr's doom you must fulfil that you lacked strength may be forgiven but never that you wanted will agnes yes it shall be as you have said o oh, lift me to those heights you tread to your high heaven lead me forth my spirit is strong my flesh is frail oft anguish struck i faint i fail my clogged foot drags upon the earth brand see child of all men god makes one demand no coward compromise whose works half done or falsely done condemned with god his whole word lies we must give sanction to this teaching by living it and not by preaching agnes throws himself on his neck lead where you will i follow you brand no precipice is too steep for two enter the doctor he has come down the road and stops outside the garden fence the doctor ah loving doves at their caresses in these dark craggy wildernesses agnes my dear old doctor here at last come in come in runs down and opens the garden gate the doctor 
ho ho not so fast we first to settle an old score what tie yourself to this wild moor where piercing winds of winter tear like ice soul body to the core brand not soul the doctor not well i must admit that seems about the truth of it your hasty compact has an air of standing firm unmoved erect though otherwise one might expect by ancient usage soon to fade that which so suddenly was made agnes a sunbeam's kiss a bell's note may awaken for a summer's day the doctor a patient waits for me farewell brand my mother the doctor yes you also go brand not now the doctor have been i dare say brand no the doctor priest you are hard through mist and snow i've trudged across the desolate fell well knowing that she is of those who pay like paupers brand may god bless your skill and your unweariedness ease if you can her bitter throes the doctor bless my good will i tarried not a moment when i heard her state brand you she has summoned i'm forgot and sick at heart i wait i wait the doctor come without summons brand till she calls i have no place within those walls the doctor to agnes you hapless blossom laid within the pitiless grasp of such a lord brand i am not pitiless agnes he had poured his blood to wash her soul from sin brand unasked upon myself i took the clearance of her debit book the doctor clear off your own brand one man may get hundreds acquitted in god's eyes the doctor i not a beggar though who lies himself o'er head and ears in debt brand beggar or rich with all my soul i will and that one thing's the whole the doctor yes in your ledger truly will has enough entries and to spare but priest your love account is still a virgin chapter blank and bare goes brand follows him awhile with his eyes never did words so sorely prove the smirch of lies as this word love with devilish craft where will is frail men lay love over as a veil and cunningly conceal thereby that all their life is coquetry whose paths the steep and perilous slope let him but love and he may shirk it if he prefers sin's easy circuit let him but love he still may hope if god he seeks but fears the fray let him but love tis straight his prey if with wide open eyes he err let him but love there's safety there agnes yes it is false yet still i fall questioning is it after all brand one point's omitted first the will law's thirst for righteousness must still you must first will not only things attainable in more or less nor only where the action brings some hardship and some weariness no you must will with flashing eyes your way through all earth's agonies it is not martyrdom to toss in anguish on the deadly cross but to have willed to perish so to will it through each bodily throw to will it with still tortured mind this only this redeems mankind agnes clinging closely to him if at the terrible call i cower speak strong-souled husband in that hour brand if will has conquered in that strife then comes at length the hour of love then it descends like a white dove bearing the olive leaf of life but in this nerveless slothful state the true the sovereign love is hate in horror hate hate o oh, titans toil to will that one brief easy syllable goes hurriedly into the house agnes looking through the open door he kneels beside his little son and heaves as if with bursts of tears he clutches close the bed like one that knows no refuge from his fears oh what a wealth of tender ruth lies hidden in this breast of steel alf he dares love the baby heel has not yet felt earth's serpent tooth cries out in terror ha huh! he leaps up with ashy brow wringing his hands what sees he now brand coming out a summons came agnes no summons no brand looking back into the house 
his parched skin burns in fever glow his temples throb his pulses race oh fear not agnes agnes god of grace brand nay have no fear calls out over the road the summons see a man through the garden gate you must come now priest brand instantly what message the man a mysterious one sitting in bed she forward bent and said get the priest here be gone my half goods for the sacrament brand starts back her half goods no say no the man shakes his head my word would then not utter what i heard brand half half it was the whole she meant the man maybe but she spoke loud and high and i don't easily forget brand seizes his arm before god's judgment will you yet dare to attest she spoke it the man i brand firmly go tell her this reply was sent nor priest shall come nor sacrament the man looking at him doubtfully you surely have not understood it is your mother that appeals brand i know no law that sternlier deals with strangers than with kindred blood the man a hard word that brand she knows the call to offer nothing or else all the man priest brand dock the gold calf as she will say it remains an idol still the man the scourge you send her i will lay as gently on her as i may she has this comfort left her too god is not quite so hard as you goes brand yes with that comfort's carrion breath the world still sickens unto death prompt in its need with shriek and song to lubricate the judge's tongue of course the reasonable plan for from of old they know their man since all his works the assurance breathe you greybeard may be haggled with the man has met another man on the road they come back together brand a second message first man yes brand to the second man consent second man nine tenths of it is now the word brand not all second man not all brand as you have heard nor priest shall come nor sacrament second man she begged it bitterly distressed first man priest once she bore you on her breast brand clutching his hands i may not by two measures weigh my kinsman and my enemy second man sore is her state and dire her need come or else send her a god speed brand to first man go tell her still god's wine and bread must on a spotless board be spread the men go agnes i tremble brand you seem a sword swung flaming by a wrathful lord brand with tears in his voice does not the world face me no less with swordless sheath upon its thigh am i not torn and baffled by its dull defiant stubbornness agnes a hard condition you demand brand dare you impose a lighter agnes lay that stern demand on whom you may and see who tested so will stand brand nay you have reason for that fear so base distorted barren seer the aspiring soul in men is grown tis thought a marvel by bequest to give away one's wealth unknown and be anonymously blessed the hero bid him blot his name content him with the service wrought kings kaisers bid them do the same and see how many fields are fought the poet bid him unbeholden loose his bright fledglings from the cage so that none dream he gave that golden plumage and he that vocal rage try the green bough or try the bear sacrifice is not anywhere earth has enslaved all earthly things over life's precipices cast each to its mouldering branches clings and if they crumble clutches fast with tooth and nail to straws and bast agnes and while they helpless hopeless fall you cry give nothing or give all brand he who would conquer still must fight rise fallen to the highest height a brief silence his voice changes and yet when with that stern demand before some living soul i stand 
i seem like one that floats afar storm shattered on a broken spar with solitary anguish wrung i've bitten this chastising tongue and thirsted as i aimed the blow to clasp the bosom of my foe go agnes watch the sleeping boy and sing him into dreams of joy an infant's soul is like the sleep of still clear tarns in summer light a mother over it may sweep and hover like the bird whose flight is mirrored in the deepest deep agnes what does it mean brand wheresoe'er you aim your thought shafts they fly there brand oh nothing softly watch the child agnes give me a watchword brand stern agnes no mild brand clasping her the blameless shall not taste the grave agnes looking brightly up at him then one is ours god may not crave goes into the house brand looking fixedly before him but if he might what isaac's fear once ventured he may venture here shakes off the thought no no my sacrifice is made the calling of my life gainsaid like the lord's thunder to go forth and rouse the sleepers of the earth sacrifice liar there was none i missed it when my dream was done when agnes woke me and followed free to labour in the gloom with me looks along the road why tarry still the dying call her word that she will offer all that she is one that which uproots sin's deepest fibres rankest shoots see there no it is but the mayor well-meaning brisk and debonair both hands in pockets round remiss a bracketed parenthesis enter mayor the mayor through the garden gate good day our meetings are but rare perhaps my time is chosen amiss brand pointing to house come in the mayor thanks here i'm quite content should my proposal meet assent i'm very sure the upshot of it would issue in our common profit brand name your desire the mayor your mother's state i understand is desperate i'm sorry brand that i do not doubt the mayor i'm very sorry brand pray speak out the mayor she's old however well a day we are all bound the self-same way and as i just drove by occurred the thought that after all to leap is just as easy as to creep moreover many have averred that she and you have been imbrued for years in a domestic feud brand domestic feud the mayor she's out and out close-fisted so they say you know you think it goes too far no doubt a man's own claims he can't forego she keeps exclusive occupation of all that was bequeathed to you brand exclusive occupation true the mayor a ready cause of irritation in families surmising thence that you await with resignation the moment of her going hence i hope i may without offence speak out although i quite admit the time i've chosen is unfit brand or now or later not i care the mayor well to the point then fair and square when once your mother's dead and blessed in the earth's bosom laid to rest you're rich brand you think so the mayor think nay man that's sure she's land in every port far as a telescope can scan you're rich brand spite the succession court the mayor smiling what of it that cuts matters short when many fight for pelf and debt here no man's interest suffers let brand and what if some day all the same came a co-heir to debt and pelf crying i'm he and urged his claim the mayor he'd have to be the devil himself just look to me none else has here the smallest right to interfere i know my business lean on me well then you'll now be well to do rich even you'll no longer brook life in this god-forsaken nook the whole land's open now to you brand mayor is not what you want to say pithily put just go away the mayor pretty much that all parties good were so best answered if you would but i attentively the herd to whom you minister god's word you'd find you're no more of a piece with them than foxes are with geese pray understand me you have gifts 
good where the social field is wide but dangerous for folk whose pride is to be lords of rocky rifts and freemen of the ravine side brand to a man's feet his native haunt is as unto the tree the root if there his labour fill no want his deeds are doomed his music mute end of act three part one Recording by Expatriate in Bangor, Maine. Part two of Brand by Henrik Ibsen, translated by Charles Harold Herford, eighteen fifty three to nineteen thirty one. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Expatriate in Bangor, Maine. Act three, part two. Brand to a man's feet his native haunt is as unto the tree the root if there his labour fill no want his deeds are doomed his music mute the mayor success means just self-adaptation to the requirements of the nation brand which from the heights you best o'erlook not from the crag encompass nook the mayor that talk is fit for citizens not for poor peasants of the glens brand oh still your limitation vain between the mountain and the plain world citizens you'd be of right while every civic claim you slight and think like dastards to go free by whining we're a small folk we the mayor all has its time each time its need each age its proper work to do we also flung our might into the world's great treasure of bold deed true that's long since but after all the might was not so very small now the lands dwindled and decayed but our renown still lives in story the days of our reported glory were when the great king bele swayed many a tale is still related about the brothers Wolf and tor and gallant fellows by the score went harrying to the british shore and plundered till their heart was sated the southron shrieked with quivering lip lord help us from these fierce men's grip and these fierce men beyond all doubt had from our harbours sallied out and how these rovers wreaked their ire and dealt out death with sword and fire nay legend names a lion-hearted hero that took the cross in verity it is not mentioned that he started brand he left behind a large posterity this promise-maker the mayor yes indeed but how came you to brand oh i read his features clearly in the breed of promise heroes of to-day who take the cross in just his way the mayor yes his descendants still remain but we were on king bele's reign so first abroad we battled then visited our own countrymen and kinsmen with the axe and fire trampled their harvests gaily down scorched mansion wall and village spire and wove ourselves the hero's crown over the blood thus set a-flowing there's been perhaps excessive crowing but after what i've said i may i think without a touch of vanity point backward to the stir we made in the great age long since decayed and hold that we indeed have paid our little might of fire and fray towards the progress of humanity brand yet do you not in fact eschew the phrase nobility's a trust and drive hoe plough and harrow through king bele's patrimonial dust the mayor by no means only go and mark our parish on its gaudy nights where i with constable and clerk and judge preside as leading lights you'll warrant when the punch goes round king bele's memory is sound with toasts and clinking cups and song and speeches short and speeches long we drink his health and sound his fame i myself often feel inclined the spinnings of my brain to wind in flowery woof about his name and edify the local mind a little poetry pleases me and all our folks in their degree but moderation everywhere in life it never must have share except at night when folks have leisure between the hours of seven and ten when baths of elevating pleasure may fit the mood of weary men here's where we differ you and i that you desire with main and might at the same time to plough and fight your scheme as far as i can see is life and faith in unity god's warfare and potato dressing inseparably coalescing as coal salt sulphur fusing fast 
Evolve just gunpowder at last. Brand. Somewhat so. The Mayor. Here you'll scheme in vain. Out in the great world that may stand. Go thither with your big demand. And let us plough our moors and main. Brand. Plough first your brag of old renown Into the main and plough it down. The pygmy is not more the man For being of Goliath's clan. The Mayor. Great memories bear the seed of growth. Brand. Yes, memories that to life are bound. But you, of memory's empty mound, Have made a stalking horse for sloth. The Mayor. I said at first, and still I say, To leave us were the wisest way. Your work here cannot come to good, Nor your ideas be understood. The little flights to purer air, The lifting up, which, now and then, Is doubtless well for working men, Shall be my unremitting care. Many agreeable facts declare My ceaseless energy as mayor. Through me the population's grown double, Nay, almost three to one, Since for the district I have bred Ever new ways of getting fed. With stubborn nature still at strife, We've steamed ahead. Our forward march here hewed a road, There flung an arch to lead from brand not from faith to life the mayor to lead from fjordside to the hill brand but not from doctrine unto will the mayor first of all get a passage clear from men to men from place to place there were no two opinions here on that until you showed your face now you've made all confusion dashing aurora flames with lantern light with such cross luminaries flashing who can distinguish wrong from right tell what will mar and what will mend all diverse things you mix and blend and into hostile camps divide those who should triumph side by side brand here notwithstanding i abide man chooses not his labour's sphere who knows and follows out his call has seen god's writing on the wall in words of fire your place is here the mayor stay then but keep within your borders you're free to purge the folk of crimes vices and other rifle disorders god knows it's needed oftentimes but don't make every working day a sabbath and your flag display as if the almighty were on board of every skiff that skims the fjord brand to use your counsel i must change my soul and all her visions range but we are called ourselves to be our own cause bear to victory and i will bear it till the land is all illumined where i stand the people your bureaucrat crew have lulled asleep shall wake anew too long you've cramped and caged apart these remnants of the mountain heart out of your niggard hunger cure they pass dejected dull demure their best their bravest blood you tap scoop out their marrow and their sap pound into splinters every soul that should have stood a welded whole but you may live to hear the roar of revolution thunder war the mayor war brand war the mayor be sure if you should call to arms you'll be the first to fall brand the day will come when we shall know that triumph's height is overthrow the mayor consider brand you have to choose don't stake your fortune on one card brand i do however the mayor if you lose your life's irreparably marred all this world's bounties you possess you a rich mother's only heir with wife and child to be your care it was a kindly hand confess that dealt your terms of happiness brand and what if i should all the same reject these terms and must the mayor your game is over if you've once unfurled in this last cranny of the world the standard of your world-wide war turn southward to yon prosperous shore where a man dares lift up his head there you may perorate of right and bid them bleed and bid them fight our bloodshed is the sweat we pour on daily ringing rocks for bread brand here i remain my home is here and here the battle flag i'll rear the mayor think what you lose if overthrown and chiefly think of what you quit brand myself i lose if i submit the mayor hopeless is he that fights alone brand the best are with me the mayor smiling that may be 
but they're the most who follow me goes brand looking after him a people's champion thoroughbred active with fair and open hand honest of heart and sound of head but yet a scourge upon the land no avalanche no winter blast no flood nor frost nor famine fast leaves half the ruin in its rear that such a man does year by year life only by a plague is reft but he how many a thought is cleft how many an eager will made numb how many a valiant song struck dumb by such a narrow soul as this what smiles on simple faces breaking what fires in lowly bosoms waking what pangs of joy and anger seed that might have ripened into deed die by that bloodless blade of his suddenly in anxiety but oh the summons the summons no it is the doctor enter doctor hurries to meet him say say how the doctor she stands before her maker now brand dead but repentant the doctor scarcely so she hugged earth's goods with all her heart till the hour struck and they must part brand looking straight before him in deep emotion is here an erring soul undone the doctor she will be mildly judged maybe and law tempered with equity brand in a low tone what said she the doctor low she muttered he is no hard dealer like my son brand sinking in anguish upon the bench guilt wrong or dying still that lie that every soul is ruined by hides his face in his hands the doctor goes towards him looks at him and shakes his head you seek a day that is no more in one and all things to restore you think god's venerable pact with man is still a living fact each age in its own way will walk ours is not scared by nurse's talk of hell-bound soul and burning brand humanity's our first command brand looking up humanity that sluggard phrase is the world's watchword nowadays with this each bungler hides the fact that he dare not and will not act with this each weakling masks the lie that he'll risk all for victory with this each dastard dares to cloak vows faintly rude and lightly broke your puny spirits will turn man himself humanitarian was god humane when jesus died had your god then his counsel given christ at the cross for grace had cried and the redemption signified a diplomatic note from heaven hides his head and sits in mute grief the doctor softly rage rage thy fill thou soul storm stressed best were it for thee to find tears agnes comes out onto the steps pale and terrified she whispers to the doctor in follow me the doctor you raise my fears what is it child agnes into my breast creeps cold a serpent of affright the doctor what is it agnes pulling him away come great god of might they go into the house brand does not notice brand to himself impenitent alive and dead this is the finger of the lord now through my means shall be restored the treasure she has forfeited else tenfold woe upon my head rises henceforth as by my sonship bound unflinching on my native ground i'll battle a soldier of the cross for spirits gained by bodies loss me with his purging fire the lord hath armed and with his writhing word mine is that will and that strong trust that crumbles mountains into dust the doctor followed by agnes comes hastily out and cries order your house and haste away brand were there an earthquake i would stay the doctor then you have doomed your child to death brand wildly the child alf alf what phantom wraith of fear is this my child is about to rush into the house the doctor holding him back stay stay here summer sunshine pierces not here polar ice blasts rive and rend here dank and stifling mists descend another winter in this spot will shrivel the tender life away go hence you'll save him no delay to-morrow's best brand to-night to-day now ere another hour is out oh yet he shall grow strong and stout 
no blast from mountain or from shore shall chill his baby bosom more come agnes lift him gently in sleep away along the winding deep o oh, agnes agnes death has spun his web about our little son agnes foreboding trembled in my heart and yet i only knew a part brand to the doctor but flight will save him that is sure the doctor the life a father day and night watches all perils can endure be all to him and healthy bright you soon shall see him be secure brand thanks thanks to agnes in down enclose him well chill sweeps the night wind from the fell agnes goes in the doctor silently watches brand who gazes fixedly through the door then goes to him and lays his hand on his shoulder the doctor so tender to his own distress and to the world so merciless for them avails not more nor less only laws absolute naught or all but now no sooner sees he fall the dooming lot his valour's flown the sacrificial lamb's his own brand what mean you the doctor in the dying ear you thundered the decree of fear to perish unless all she gave and went down naked to the grave and that cry rang again again when need was direst among men you're now the shipwrecked sailor cleaving to swamp boat through the storms of doom and from its upturned bottom heaving to see your tracks on wrath to come to see to see the bulky tome that struck your brother's bosoms home now you ask only wind and wave to waft your infant from death's reach fly only fly by bay and beach fly from your very mother's grave fly from the souls you're sent to save the parson does not mean to preach brand wildly clutching his head as if to gather his thoughts am i now blind or was i the doctor nay a father has no other way don't fancy that your act i blame i hold you greater clipped and tame than in your giant strength secure farewell i've held you up a glass use it and sigh alas alas is this a titan's portraiture goes brand gazing a while before him then bursts out before or now when did i stray agnes comes out with a cloak over her shoulders and the child in her arms brand does not see her she is about to speak but stands petrified with terror at the look in his face at the same moment a man comes in hastily through the garden gate the sun is setting the man hark priest you have a foe brand clenching his hand against his breast yes here the man watch well the mayor the seed you sow sprang ever bravely into ear till blighting slanders laid it low with meaning hints he has implied that by and by this house would lack a tenant and you'd turn your back the day your wealthy mother died brand and if it were so the man priest i know you know why these poisonous tales are rife you stood against him still at strife he could not bend your purpose lo you that's what these slanders signified brand hesitating suppose the case that he spoke true the man then to us all you basely lied brand have i the man how oft you've told us you that god has called you to the strife that here you've made your home for life that here you'll bear the battle through that none may shirk the call to serve that all must fight and never swerve you have the call how flames and flashes in many a heart the fire you fed brand this people's heart is hard and dead their ear is deaf their fire is ashes the man oh you know better radiant day to many a heart has found its way brand in tenfold others all is night the man you're sent to be their beacon light but be the numbers as you choose here is no need to closely scan for here i stand one only man and bid you leave us if you can i have a soul i would not lose like others books i cannot use you bore me from the depths below try if you can now let me go you cannot i so closely grip my soul were lost if i should slip farewell i look to learn at last my priest by me and god stands fast goes agnes timidly 
your lips are blanched and white your cheek you seem to utter an inward shriek brand each strong word flung at yonder rock thrills back with tenfold echo's shock agnes advancing a step i'm ready brand ready where unto agnes vehemently for what a mother needs must do gerd runs by outside and stops at the garden gate claps her hands and cries in wild joy have you heard the priest flown off up from hillocks out of house swarm the demons and the drows black and ugly big and little ugh how fierce they cut and cuff half my eye away they whittle half my soul they've carried off with the stump i'll e'en make shift it will serve me well enough brand girl your thoughts are all adrift see i stand before you gerd you ay but not the parson swift from the peak my falcon flew fiercely down the fells he hide him he was bitted and saddled too through the nightfall blast he hissed and a man was set astride him twas the parson twas the priest now the valley church is bare lock and bar are bolted there ugly church's day is past mine shall get its due at last there the priest stands tall and strong snowy surplice swathes his flank woven of winter's drip and dank if you'd see him come along parish church is bare and blank my priest has so brave a song that the whole earth rings to hear it brand who has bidden thee shattered spirit lure me with this idle lay gerd coming into the garden idols idols what are they oh that is what you mean giant or pygmy large or lean always gilded always gay idols look you where she stands see you neath her mantle stray baby feet and baby hands see you how those robes are gay that close-folded something keep like a little child asleep back she shudders hides her son idols man i show you one agnes have you tears brand can you pray terror scorches mine away brand woe's me agnes i forebode in her words the voice of god gert hark now all the bells are loud clanging down the savage fells see what moving masses crowd upwards to those bidding bells see the thousand trolls uprisen from the ocean caves their prison see the thousand dwarfs upleaping from the graves where they were sleeping with the priest's seal on them set grave and ocean cannot bind them out their swarming chill and wet troll babes that but sham to die grinning roll the rocks behind them mother father hark they cry goodman goodwife make reply then as fathers among sons move among their buried ones women lay their risen dead at their bosoms to be fed strutted scarce with prouder front when they bore them to the font life begins the parsons fled brand get thee from me direr still grows the vision gert hark he's mocking he that sits by yon way border where it rears to scale the hill all their names that they go flocking in his book he writes in order ho oh, he's well nigh all the pack for the parish church is bare lock and bar are bolted there and parson's off on falcon back leaps over the garden fence and is lost in the moraine stillness agnes approaches and says in a low voice late we linger let us go brand looking fixedly at her shall our way be points first to the garden gate then to the house door so or so agnes starts back shuddering brand your child your child brand following her say rather was i priest ere i was father agnes drawing further back though in thunder crash it pealed unto that my lips are sealed brand following you are mother it is due that the last word come from you agnes i am wife i shall fulfil all that you have heart to will brand trying to grasp her arm take the cup of choice from me agnes retreating behind the tree mother then i should not be brand there a judgment is let fall agnes vehemently have you any choice at all brand still the judgment gathering force agnes trust you wholly in god's call brand yes grasped her hand firmly and now tis yours to give final sentence die or live 
agnes go where god has fixed your course pause brand late we linger let us go agnes voiceless shall our way be brand silent agnes pointing to the garden gate so brand pointing to the house door nay so agnes raising the child aloft in her arms god the gift thou canst require i can lift it to thy sight guide me through life's martyr fire goes in brand gazes a while before him bursts into tears clasps his hands over his head throws himself down on the steps and cries jesus jesus give me light end of act three recording by expatriate in bangor maine four part one of brand by henrik ibsen translated by charles harold herford eighteen fifty three to nineteen thirty one this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by expatriate in bangor maine act four part one christmas eve in the manse the room is dark garden door in the background a window on one side a door on the other agnes in mourning stands at the window and gazes out into the darkness agnes still he comes not comes not yet oh how hard with gloom beset still to wait and still to cry winning never a reply fast they fall the softly sifted snowflakes in a shroud like woof they have swathed the old church roof listens hark the garden latch is lifted steps a man's step firm and fast hurries to the door and opens it is it thou come home at last brand comes in snowy in travelling dress which he removes during what follows agnes throwing her arms about him oh how long thou wast away go not from me go not from me all alone i cannot sway the black clouds that overcome me what a night what days have been these two and the night between brand i am with thee child once more he lights a single candle which throws a pale radiance over the room thou art pale agnes and worn and sad i have watched and longed so sore and this little leafy bough little it was all i had saved from summer until now to bedeck our christmas tree i have hung it there brand see his the bush was so we said ah twas his it crowned him dead bursts into tears look from the snow it peers yonder his o oh god brand his grave agnes o oh, that word brand have done with tears agnes yes be patient i'll be brave but my soul is bleeding still and the wound is raw and new sapped is all my strength of will oh but better shall ensue once these days are overworn thou shalt never see me mourn brand keeps thou so god's holy night agnes ah too much thou must not crave think last year so sweet and bright this year carried from my sight carried carried brand loudly to the grave agnes shrieks name it not brand with lungs that crack named it must be if thou shrink named till echo rolls it back like a billow from the brink agnes ah the word gives thee too pain how so passionless thou boast thee on thy brow i see the stain of the agony it cost thee brand on my brow the drops that lie are but sea spray from the storm agnes and that dewdrop in thine eye has it fallen from the sky no ah no it is too warm tis thy heart's dew brand agnes wife let us bravely face the strife stand together never flinch struggle onward inch by inch oh i felt a man out there surges o'er the reef were dashing horror of the storm-lit air stilled the sea-gull hail was thrashing down upon the boiling sea in my skiff that mid fjord quivered mast and tackle creaked and shivered tattered sails blew far a lee scarce a shred of them remaining every nail and stanchion straining 
From the beetling summit sunder'd. Down the avalanches thunder'd. Stiff and stark, with corpse like faces, Sat the rowers in their places. Then the soul in me waxed high. From the helm I ruled them all, Knowing well that one thereby Had baptized me to his call. Agnes. In the tempest to be strong, Eager in the stress of fight, That is easy, that is light think of me who all day long still must croon without relief the low swallow song of grief think of me who have no charm for the tedious pain of life me who far from war's alarm lack the fiery joys of strife think oh think of me who share not noble work but brood and wait me who to remember dare not and who never can forget brand thou no noble life-work thou never was it great as now listen agnes thou shalt know what to me our loss has brought oftentimes my light is low dim my reason dull my thought and there seems a kind of gladness in immeasurable sadness agnes in such hours i see god as at no other near oh so near it seems to me i could speak and he would hear like a lost child then i long to be folded to his breast and be gathered by his strong tender father arms to rest agnes brand oh see him so alway to thy supplication near god of love and not of fear brand no i may not bar his way nor run counter to my call i must see him vast sublime as the heavens a pygmy time needs a giant god withal oh but thou mayst see him near see him as a father dear bow thy head upon his breast there when thou art weary rest then return with face aglow from his presence fair and free bear his glory down to me worn with battle thrust and throw see my agnes so to share is the soul of wedded life his the turmoil and the strife hers the healing and the care this and this alone the true wedlock that makes one of two since thou turnest from the life of the world to be my wife boldly cast thy lot with me this the work appointed thee mind the stir and stress of fight battle in the burning sun watching in the winter night but for thee when all is done to my parching lips to hold love's full wine-cup and to fold neath the breastplate's iron stress the soft robe of tenderness surely that work is not light agnes every work that i have sought is too hard for my weak skill all the fibres of my will gather round a single thought like a vision seems it still let me have of tears my fill help me so myself to see what i am and ought to be brand last night in stillest hush opened he my chamber door on his cheek a rosy flush and his little shirt he wore toddled so with childish tread to the couch where i lay lonely mother called to me and spread both his arms and smiled but only as if praying make me warm yea i saw oh my heart bled brand agnes agnes ah his little form was a cold brand needs it must pillowed in the chilly dust brand that which lies beneath the sod is the course the child's with god agnes shrinking from him o oh, canst thou without remorse thus our bleeding anguish tear what thou sternly call'st the course ah to me my child is there where is body there is soul these apart i cannot keep each is unto me the whole alf beneath the snow asleep is my very alf in heaven brand many a raw wound must be riven ere thy deep disease give way agnes yet have patience with me pray let me follow not be driven give me thy strong hand and guide me oh and gently gently chide me thou whose voice in thunder tones vibrates in the hour of strife for the soul that still with groans fights a fight for every life hast thou no soft piteous lay to beguile its pangs away ne'er a message to uplift point me to the dawn-fired rift god as thou wouldst have me view him is a monarch on his throne how dare i then turn unto him with my lowly mother's moan 
brand wouldst thou rather haply turn to the god thou knewst before agnes never 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 more and yet oftentimes i yearn towards the daybreak towards the light towards the sunshine warm and golden oh the ancient saw is right lightly lifted hardly holden all too vast this realm of thine too gigantic to be mine thou thy word thy work thy goal will austere and steadfast soul overhead the beetling height and the barrier fjord below grief and memory toil and night all vast were the church but so brand starting what the church again that thought is it bred an instinct blind in the air agnes shaking her head sadly oh ask me not to find reasons for my thought instinct steals upon the sense like a perfume to and fro blowing whither blowing whence i perceive it that is all and unknowing yet i know that for me it is too small brand truth may be from dreams divined in a hundred hearts i find self-begotten this one word even in hers whose frantic call from the mountainside i heard it is ugly for tis small so she said and like the rest left her meaning half expressed then of women came a score yes it is too small they cried they would have it spread and soar like a palace in its pride agnes ah i see it clear thou the woman art whom god gave me for his angel guide safe alike from doubt and fear through the darkness thou hast trod keeping still the even way where i blindly went astray thee no glamour captivated once thy finger showed the faded region where my life-work waited checked me as i sought sublime to the vault of heaven to climb turn my soaring glance within and that kingdom bade me win now a second time thy word penetrates my soul like day guides me where i vainly erred glorifies my weary way small the church is be it so then a greater church shall grow never never did i wot all god gave me giving thee now that cry of thine's for me leave me not oh leave me not agnes all my sorrow i will quell i will dry the tears that well seal in still sepulchral sleep memory's lone castle keep lay oblivion like a sea open between it and me i will blot the joyous gleams from any little world of dreams live thy wife alone for thee brand steep the path is high the goal agnes lead nor sternly spur my soul brand in a greater name i call agnes one of whom thou saidst that still he accepts the steadfast will though the flesh be weak withal going brand whither agnes agnes smiles ah to-day home must have its feast array thou my lavishness didst chide mindest thou last christmas tide all the chamber flashed with lights from the christmas tree there hung toys and wreaths and quaint delights there was laughter there was song brand for us this year also shall the christmas candles glow there shall all be decked and dight for the great still feast to-night here if haply god should peep he of meek and lowly mind shall his stricken children find babes that humbly understand to have felt their father's hand gives them not a right to weep seest thou now of tears a sign brand presses her to him a moment child make light that work is thine agnes smiles sadly thou thy greater church shalt rear oh but end ere spring is here goes brand willing in her torment still willing at the martyr's stake flesh may flag and spirit break but unbroken in her will lord to her poor strength add thine be the cruel task not mine at thy bidding to unchain angry vultures of the law swift to swoop with ravening maw and her heart's warm blood to drain i have strength to stand the strain twofold agony let me bear but be merciful to her a knock at the outer door the mayor enters the mayor a beaten man i seek your door 
brand a beaten man the mayor as such i stand before you when i opened war and sought to drive you from the land the end i augured i confess for you was not just well success brand indeed the mayor but though my cause i boast the better i'll contend no more brand and why the mayor because you have the most brand have i the mayor oh that you can't ignore folks flock to you by sea and shore and in the whole of my confine a spirit has of late been rife which god's my witness is not mine whence to conclude is only due that it originates with you here is my hand we'll end the strife brand war such as we wage does not cease howe'er the vanquished cry no more the mayor why what should be the end of war but reasonable terms of peace to kick at pricks is not my way i made of common human clay when at your breast the lance you feel it is but reason to give place with but a switch to parry steel tis just to make a volta face left of your cause the sole defender it is the wisest to surrender brand two things are noticeable here first that you call me strong of men i have the larger part the mayor that's clear brand now possibly but when shall rise the great dread day of sacrifice who will have more supporters then the mayor of sacrifice why goodness me that's just the day we never see at least the sacrifice no worse is than drafts upon good people's purses the age is too humane to bring any more costly offering and what's most vexing is that i myself have all along been noted of those who the humane promoted and hindered sacrifice thereby so that it may be fairly said i put the axe to my own head or at the least laid rods in store to baffle all i've struggled for brand you may be right but furthermore i hardly know how you can dare surrender your own cause as lost be rods or be they not the cost man's work is what he's fashioned for and paradise for him lies there twixt him and it though oceans swell and close at hand lies satan's quarter may he for that cry toil farewell the way to hell's distinctly shorter the mayor to that i answer yes and no some final haven man must win if all our toil brings nothing in who on a barren quest will go the fact stands thus we want reward for every labour light or hard and if in arms we miss the prize we gain our point by compromise brand but black will never turn to white the mayor respected friend the gain is slight of saying white as yonder bray when the mob's shouting black as snow brand you join them possibly the mayor why no i rather shout not black but grey the times humane ask apt compliance not blunt and absolute defiance we stand on democratic ground where what the people thinks is right shall one against the mass propound his special views on black and white in short you having a majority are best entitled to authority so i submit as they submitted with you my humble lot i cast and may i by no soul be twitted for not contending to the last folks now consider i perceive petty and poor all i achieve they say there's something of more worth than richer harvests wrung from earth they are not willing as they were the necessary might to spare and the best cause if will's not in it there's very little hope to win it believe me tis no easy thing to drop one's plans for roads and bridges for tapping mirrors and draining ridges and more besides that was in swing but good lord what's a man to say if he can't win he must give way patiently trust that time's his friend and to the blast astutely bend now the folk's favour i've foregone in just the way it first was won ay ay and by another track i'll get my old possession back brand so all your cunning all your art aimed but to win the people's heart the mayor god help me no the common good and profit of this neighbourhood has been my single sole desire 
but i admit there did conspire the worker's hope of worthy hire for day's work honestly pursued the fact stands thus a resolute and able man with sense to boot demands to see his labour's fruit and not to drudge and sweat and groan to profit an idea alone with the best will i can't afford to throw my interests overboard and give my brains without reward i've a large household to supply a wife and of grown girls a store who must be first provided for belly that's empty throat that's dry the idea scarce will satisfy where mouths so many must be filled and any man who should demur for him i have but one reply he's an unworthy householder brand and now your object is the mayor to build brand to build the mayor why yes the common state to better and my own to boot first i will build up the repute i stood in till a recent date the election soon will be on foot so i must set some scheme afloat some booming enterprise promote thus i regain my lost authority and check the wane of my majority now i've reflected to compete with wind and tide wins no man's praises the folk want lifting as the phrase is a work for which i'm all on meat i can but set them on their feet which can't be done unless they please and here are all my enemies whence i've resolved since such the case is after ripe thought to find a basis for making war with poverty brand you would uproot it the mayor no not i it is a necessary ill in every state we must endure it yet may we with a little skill in certain forms confined secure it if only we begin in time he who would grow a bed of crime let him with poverty manure it i'll set a dam to this manure brand how the mayor do you take me i can cure a want of long and bitter proof by building for the town's behoof a pest-house for the afflicted poor pest-house i call a thing projected to rid us of the crime infected and i reflected to the pest-house might well be added an arrest-house the cause with its effect confined the self-same bars and bolts behind and nothing but a wall between and while my hand is in i mean in the same block to build with all a wing for balls and ballotings social and business gatherings with platform and assembly hall in short a half political half social smart and festive guest-house brand sorely required this most of all but yet there's one thing needed more the mayor you mean a madhouse well yes indeed a very peremptory need that was my own idea before but now by friendly counsel wrought i've utterly renounced the thought for who's to furnish the supplies for such a giant enterprise to put a madhouse up would come believe me to a pretty sum if all whom need and merit fitted should be within its walls admitted we must not build for our caprice but note time's current as it glides the world moves on with giant strides last year abundance famine this you see to what a monstrous girth the folk's necessities have swelled talents for everything on earth headlong by seven league boots propelled are swarming madly to the birth thus it would be too dear a jest to build posterity a nest and let self wife and children go this tooth i say we can't afford out with it therefore by the lord brand and then there's the great hall you know for any matter than the rest the mayor delighted yes it would mostly be to spare why brand you've hit the nail-head there if fortunate our project's fate is we get to boot a madhouse gratis here sheltered by the self-same roof and by the self-same flag defended all the essential strands are blended that tinge and tone our social woof here in one haven disembogues the flood of paupers and of rogues with lunatics who roamed at large subject to no man's check or charge here too are freedom's highest reach the election strife the storm of speech and here our council hall for framing measures to meet each public pest and here our feast hall for proclaiming how well we'll guard the past bequest you see then if our project stand the cragsman has at his command all he in reason can demand the right to live as he thinks best 
God knows how slender our resources, But once our enterprise in force is, I trust we may be with impunity Styled a well-organized community. Brand. But then the means. The Mayor. Ay, there's the knot, as in all other things in this. Hardly to contributions wrought is will, And, if your help I miss, I furl my flag without a thought but with your eloquent alliance i'll bid all obstacles defiance and when all's done your kind compliance believe me shall not be forgot brand in short you'd buy me the mayor for my aim i should prefer another name i seek with general good in view that gulf of difference to cross which you from me and me from you has severed to our common loss brand in an ill-omened hour you came the mayor unfortunately yes i own it your recent loss i might have known it but your brave bearing reassured me and need of public credit lured me brand in grievous or in gladsome season i render help where need is plain but for another weighty reason this time your mission is in vain the mayor and which pray brand i am building too the mayor you building you adopt my view brand not altogether pointing out of the window do you see the mayor yonder brand yes the mayor that great ugly stole why that's the parsonage granary brand no not that but the ugly small the mayor the church brand i mean to build it great the mayor that by the devil you shall not no man shall alter it one jot my plan twould utterly frustrate mine's urgent only waits the word by yours i'm absolutely floored two weapons can't at once be wielded yield therefore brand i have never yielded the mayor you must man here build my arrest house my pest house and my festive guest house build all the madhouse comprehending and who'll ask where the church wants mending and why condemn it now to fall twas well enough a while ago brand possibly now it is too small the mayor i never saw it full i know brand even a single soul is scanted and has not room therein to soar the mayor shaking his head in amazement which single soul but proves the more how sorely my asylum's wanted changing his tone let the church be is my advice one may regard it in some wise as a rich heirloom of our age in fact a noble heritage which we not lightly may remove nay if my building project crashes i like a phoenix from the ashes will live again in public love as one chivalrously intent to save our ancient monument here stood a heathen fane of old twas in king bele's reign no doubt then later heroes more devout founded the church with looted gold all sacred in its antique dress grand in its simple stateliness till our own days it towered sublime brand but all these glories of old time lie long since buried deep in mould of all surviving sign bereft the mayor just so they are so very old that not a trace of them is left but in my late grandfather's day a wall hole still defied decay brand a wall hole the mayor fit to hold a ton brand but the wall's self the mayor oh that was gone in plain terms then i am compelled to say your scheme is out of court a barbarous and unparalleled horrible sacrilege in short and then the money do you dream these folks are so profuse in spending that they'll contrive new cost by lending existence to a half-hatched scheme when with a little deftness they may so far patch the crumbling wall that in our time it will not fall but just go out the fields survey you'll find i'm winner after all brand from no man will i wring a jot to give my god house harbourage with my own goods it shall be wrought in that one work my heritage to the last penny shall be spent now mayor are you still confident that you can shake me from my thought the mayor with folded hands i stand as from the clouds drop down 
such things are even in a town scarce heard of and yet here for us who long to the necessitous have closed our purses and our doors you loose this flood of gifts unbounded that ripples flashes foams and pours no brand i'm utterly dumbfounded brand in thought i long ago resigned my wealth the mayor yes whispered hints have flown pointing to something of the kind but i regarded them as wind how many men give all they own without a tangible return however that's your own concern go on i'll follow you're in feather you can act freely work and sway brand we will build the church together brand what you are willing to give way the mayor dear god's my witness that i am and shall be while my wits are sound when one would fatten pamper cram another milk and shear and flay where think you will the flock be found death and destruction i'm your man i'm fire and fury for the plan thrilled agitated nay affected providence prompted the design that led me to your door to-night for sure without the hint of mine your plan had scarcely been projected or at the least scarce seen the light and thus the church conceived aright will by my means have been erected brand but don't forget we must lay low that towering relic of the past the mayor looking out seen in the twofold glimmer cast by the new moon in the fresh snow it seems a sort of rubbish heap brand what mayor the mayor it is too old to keep i fail entirely to explain it till now it never struck my eye the weathercock stands all awry it would be monstrous to retain it and where are architecture style rightly regarded in the pile what terms can give that arch its due an architect would call it vile and really i must share his view and then that roof with moss tufts blowing bless me they're none of bailey's growing no we may overmuch assert the reverence for ancient glories one fact at least there's no o'erthrowing that this old rotten hut no more is but just a very heap of dirt brand but if the people's voice should storm at those who seek to lay it low the mayor i will it though they all cry no this christmas with the least delay i'll put the thing in proper form and launch it smoothly on its way i'll write i'll agitate i'll sway ay ay you know the stuff i'm made of and if i cannot hire or hound the foolish flock to help to end it with my own hands i'll rive and rend it timber by timber to the ground nay though i had to call the aid of my wife and all my girls as well down it should come by death and hell brand this language has another sound than that which earlier from you fell the mayor to be humane is to repress all manner of one-sidedness and sure if truth the poet utters precisely what is to be sought in thinking is the winged thought that is to say the thought that flutters farewell taking his hat i have to see the band end of act four part one recording by expatriate in bangor maine act four part two of brand by henrik ibsen translated by charles harold herford eighteen fifty three to nineteen thirty one this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by expatriate in bangor maine act four part two the mayor to be humane is to repress all manner of one-sidedness and sure if truth the poet utters precisely what is to be sought in thinking is the winged thought that is to say the thought that flutters farewell taking his hat i have to see the band brand the what the mayor just think within our land this morning two of us laid hand on a foul-favoured gypsy horde so i got help with rope and cord and now they're in your neighbour's ward next to the north but devil clip me if just a couple didn't slip me brand the bells are ringing peace to men the mayor why came this hell brood hither then yet in a sense they are tis true kin to this parish laughing nay to you hark to a riddle 
read it right if you have power and appetite there be who in effect derive from her by whom you are alive but owe their actual origin to coming of another kin brand shaking his head o oh god so many riddles rise before our baffled helpless eyes the mayor but this one's very lightly guessed you must have often heretofore heard tell one story or another of that poor fellow here by west whose head four parsons learning bore he went a-wooing to your mother brand what then the mayor conceive a girl of gold she sent him to the right about promptly as might have been foretold and how do you think he took the flout half mad with grief he wandered out mated at last another bride a gypsy and before he died enriched with issue this foul band that sins and starves about the land nay on this parish he conferred one bastard imp as souvenir of his illustrious career brand namely the mayor the gypsy urchin gerd brand in muffled tones ah so the mayor gaily confess the riddle's good his issue in effect derived from her by whom you are alive for the first cause of all the brood was that he loved and she withstood brand advise me mayor can you tell some means of giving them relief the mayor tut clap them in a bridewell cell their overhead in debt to hell to save them were to play the thief with satan who will lose his trade if earth restore not what he made brand you plan to build a house to better this naked misery and dearth the mayor that plan was by its own begetter slain in the moment of its birth if after all though it were well the mayor smiling this language has another sound than that which earlier from you fell clapping him on the shoulder what's buried leave it in the ground man must not dash his deed with doubt farewell farewell i can't remain i must be off and scour the fell to seek this nest of truants out a merry yule will meet again my greetings to your wife farewell goes brand after a meditative silence o oh, expiation without end so wildly mingle strangely blend the threads that human fortunes spin sin tangled with the fruit of sin pouring its own pollution in that he who eyes their mazy flight sees foulest wrong grow one with right goes to the window and after a long look out my little child lamb without stain thou for thy mother's deed was slain a shattered spirit bore his voice whose throne the crested heavens sustain and bade me cast the die of choice and this distracted soul had birth because my mother's clave to earth thus the lord sowing fruit of crime reaps retribution in his time and reaching down from his high dome strikes the third generation home starts back in horror from the window yes god is above all things just and retribution is his goal only by sacrifice the soul achieves redemption from the dust hard truth our age appalled descries and therefore stubbornly denies walks up and down the room to pray ah pray a word that slips easily over all men's lips a coin by all men lightly paid what's prayer in storm and stress to shout unto the vague unknown for aid upon christ's shoulders beg a place and stretch both hands to heaven for grace while knee-deep in the slough of doubt ha if there needed nothing more i might like others dare to raise my hand and batter at his door who still is terrible in praise pauses and reflects and yet in uttermost despair in shuddering sorrow's deepest deep when alf at last had sunk to sleep and all his mother's kisses vain won not the lost smile back again what felt i if it was not prayer whence came that trance that ecstasy that rushing music like a blast that sang a far and hurried past bore me aloft and set me free was it the ecstasy of prayer did i with god hold converse there my anguish did it reach his ears did he look down and see my tears i know not barred is now the door the darkness deeper than before and nowhere nowhere any light yes she who darkling yet hath sight calls in anguish 
Light, Agnes, light, if light thou hast. Agnes opens the door and enters with the lighted Christmas candles. A bright glow falls over the room. Brand. Light. Agnes. See the Yule light, Brand, at last. Brand softly. The Yule light? Ha! Agnes putting them on the table. Have I been slow? Brand. No, no. Agnes. Thou must be cold, Brand. Brand loudly. No. Agnes, smiling, fills the stove. How stern! It is thy pride of will that scorns the darkness and the chill. Brand walking up and down. Hm, will. Agnes to herself as she decks the room. Here must the candles stand. Last year he stretched his tiny hand after the glancing, dancing light. He was so joyous and so bright. He started from his little chair and asked me if a son it were. Moves the candles a little. See, now the candle's glow falls there. Now from his bed my boy can see the window gleaming cheerily. Now can he peer out of the gloom silently into our lit room. But ah, the glass is dim. Stay, stay. I'll wipe the dew of tears away and make it smile. Dries the pain. Brand, softly as he watches her. When in this breast will the wild waters sink to rest? To rest they must. Agnes to herself. How bright the glow. It seems as though the sundering wall had sunk. The low room grown a hall. The murky world of ice and snow. Sudden become a sheltered nest. Where cosily my child may rest. Brand. What dost thou, Agnes? Agnes to herself. Peace, I pray. Brand nearer. Why didst thou ope the curtain? Agnes. Nay, I dreamt and knew not what I did. Brand snares in that dream of thine lie hid close it again agnes pleading brand brand close i say agnes oh be not harsh it is not right brand close close agnes drawing it now all is close and tight yet in my heart i scarce can deem god injured if at sorest need in the brief respite of a dream i tasted comfort brand no indeed he is a feeling judge and kind and will indulgently forbear if in thy service he should find some idol worship here and there agnes bursts into tears oh say when will he cease to crave my wings are weak i faint and fall brand he gives to the devouring wave who in his giving gives not all agnes i have given all i have no more brand shakes his head yet other gifts remain behind agnes smiling ask i've the courage of the poor brand give agnes take ah brand thou nothing find brand thy memories and thy moans thou hast thy longings and thy sinful sighs agnes despairingly i have my heart of agonies tear tear it from me brand thou hast cast thy offerings in the yawning deep for nothing if thou count them losses agnes shudders narrow is thy lord's way and steep brand that way will cannot choose but keep agnes and mercies is brand peremptorily beset with crosses agnes gazes before her then trembling now manifest and open lies abysmal as the depths of space that mystic word brand what word agnes he dies who sees jehovah face to face brand throws his arms about her and clasps her close oh look not on him close thine eyes hide thee oh hide thee agnes must i brand lets her go no agnes thou sufferest brand brand thou art so dear agnes thou lovest me but thy love i fear tis stern brand too stern agnes ask not where so thou goest i will also go brand think'st thou without design i won thee out of thy gladsome gay content or half in earnest laid upon thee the call to self-abandonment woe to us both too dear we paid too vast a sacrifice we made thou art my wife i crave thee all to live according to our call agnes crave only leave me not brand 
indeed i must for rest and peace i need soon shall the great new church arise agnes my little church a ruin lies brand it was a blessed wind that blew and thy heart's idol overthrew clasps her as if in dread peace be upon thee and through thee peace also upon mine and me goes towards the side door agnes brand may i softly set ajar one hateful window barrier so only a little may i brand in the doorway no goes into his room agnes closed all closed with bolt and bar seals on every passion set sealed to sorrow and to sigh sealed the grave and sealed the sky sealed to feel and to forget i will out i gasp for breath in this lonely house of death out oh whither angry eyes glare upon me from the skies can i flying high or low bear my treasure where i go can i from my breast unsphere the mute vacancy of fear listens at brand's door loud he reads he cannot hear there's no comfort there's no way god is busy list to-day but to song and praise and blessing of the happy child possessing richly gifted of the earth christmas is the feast of mirth me he sees not nor takes heed of a lonely mother's need goes cautiously to the window shall i draw the curtain back till the clear and kindly ray chase the horror of night away from his chamber bare and black nay he is not there at all yule's the children's festival he hath got him leave to rise haply now he stands and cries stretches little arms in vain to his mother's dark and pain was not that a baby's voice alf i've neither will nor choice all is barred and bolted here tis thy father's bidding dear alf i may not open now an obedient child art thou we ne'er grieved him thou and i oh fly home then to the sky there is gladness there is light there thy merry comrades stay till thou come to join their play oh but weep not in their sight nor to any soul betray that thy father bade me lock when thy little hand did knock years bring sterner sadder stress than a little child may guess say he sorrowed say he sighed say he wove the garden's pride all into a wreath for thee tis his doing canst thou see listen starts and shakes her head oh i dream not bar and wall only from my love divide me when the purging fire hath tried me in its anguish then alone shall the parting barriers fall and the mighty bolts be battered and the vaulted dungeon shattered and the prison hinges groan much oh much is to be done ere we parted twain be one i with silent toiling hands still will labour on to fill the abyss of his commands i shall nerve me i shall will but it is the feast this eve last year's how unlike and wait we will honour it in state i will fetch my treasures forth whereof the uncounted worth best a mother can conceive to whose spirit they express all her life lost happiness she kneels down by the cupboard and takes various things out of a drawer at the same moment brand opens the door and is about to speak when he observes her occupation checks himself and remains standing agnes does not see him brand softly haunting still the mortal mound playing in death's garden ground agnes lo the robe the veil that clad at the font my little lad under it his cloak i've laid holds it up gazes at it and laughs lord how brave it looks and bright ah he was a bonny sight in his festal robes arrayed here's the scarf the cape he wore when the keen wind first he bore longer was it than was meet then but quickly grew to spare i will lay it with them there gloves and stockings oh what feet and his hood of silken fold that had fenced him from the cold all unused and clean and sweet oh and there the wrappings warm that should shield his little form for the journey from the storm when again i laid them by weary unto death was i brand clasps his hands in anguish mercy god i strive in vain shatter her last idol shrine by some other hand than mine agnes 
Did I weep? Behold, a stain! O oh, my treasure, jewelled prize, Bathed in floods from aching eyes, Lit with fires of tortured will, Holy crowning vesture, Worn by a child to death's font born, O oh, what riches have I still! A sharp knock at the outer door. Agnes turns with a cry, and at the same moment sees Brand. The door is burst open, and a woman raggedly dressed enters hastily with a child in her arms. The woman, looking at the child's clothes, calls to Agnes, Thou rich mother, share with me. Agnes, thou art richer far. The woman, I see thou art of the common breed, crammed with words and void of deed brand approaching her tell me what thou seekest the woman thee troth i do not seek at least rather to the wind and rain will i hurry out again than be sermoned by a priest rather to the wild sea fly drown in rot beneath the sky than i'll hear the black man tell how i'm on my way to hell can i help the devil take me being what god chose to make me brand to himself voice and feature pierce me still with a dim and icy dread agnes thou shalt warm thee if thou art chill and thy hungry child be fed the woman where there's warmth and where there's light brats of gypsies may not stay we must haunt the lone highway hill and forest heath and height we must wander we must roam leave to others house and home i must swiftly from this place dogs of justice are behind me mayor bailiff all in chase hungering to catch and bind me brand here thou shalt have shelter the woman here roofed above and walled about no the winter night is clear and the breezes blithe without but a rag to wrap the child that were something sooth its wild rascal brother fled and bore with him all the clouts it wore look it lies half naked blue stiff and stark and frozen through by the storm wind's icy breath brand woman on the road to death free thy infant from thy doom free him from thy grief and gloom of his birth i'll blot the brand the woman much sooth thou dost understand such a wonder none on earth can nor shall do though he can war on you that set the ban watch ye where it was that birth in a ditch side on the ground gamblers drank and shouted round christened in the sleety slime crossed with charcoal ashes grime suckled with a spirit flask when his mother bore him first there were some stood by and cursed who could they be do you ask bless you why the baby's father or the baby's father's rather brand agnes agnes yes brand thy duty's clear agnes shuddering never never brand to her the woman give me give me give me all silk embroidered jacket small naught's too good and not too bad if twill warm my starving lad he'll be going by and by thaw his body ere he die brand to agnes choice is calling hear'st thou now the woman store enough of clothes hast thou for thy dead child hast thou none for my death-doomed living one brand is not this a warning cry importuning bodefully the woman give agnes tis sacrilege blood-red desecration of the dead brand vainly given to death he was if thou at the threshold pause agnes crushed i obey my heart's quick root i will trample under foot woman come thou and receive i will share it with thee the woman give brand share it sayst thou agnes share it agnes wildly i will rather die than spare it all see inch by inch i bent to thy will my force is spent half's enough she needs no more brand was the whole too much before when for thy child it was meant agnes gives woman take in this was clad at the font my little lad here the scarf cloak mantle good for the night air here the hood warm for winter take this last the woman give me brand is this all thou hast agnes gives again 
take the crowning vesture worn by the child to death font born the woman so i see there's nothing more i'll clear out without delay dress my baby at the door then with all my pack away goes agnes in violent inner conflict at length asks is it reason brand to lay further bidding on me brand say didst thou with a glad heart go to thy task of giving agnes no brand then thy gift is vainly willed and his bidding unfulfilled going agnes remains silent until he is near the door then calls brand brand what wilt thou agnes i have lied see i'm humbled i am grieved never knewst thou nor believed anything was left beside brand well agnes takes a folded child's cap from her bosom see one i thought to hide one brand the cap agnes yes tear be wet clammy with his mortal sweat there in my beating bosom set brand in thy idle bonds abide going agnes hold brand what wilt thou agnes thou dost know holds out the cap to him brand approaches and asks without taking it gladly given agnes gladly brand so at the door she lingers yet goes agnes shivered shattered plucked away all that bound me to the clay stands a while motionless by degrees her face assumes an expression of radiant gladness brand returns she flies joyously towards him flings herself about his neck and cries i am free brand i am free brand agnes agnes night is fled from me all the terrors that oppress like an incubus my breast in the gulf are sunk to rest will hath conquered in the fray cloud and mist are swept away through the night athwart the dead streaks of morning glimmer red graveyard graveyard by the word now no more a tear is stirred by the name no wound is riven risen is the child to heaven brand agnes thou hast conquered now agnes i indeed have conquered yes conquered death and bitterness oh look up look heavenward thou see before the throne he stands as in old days radiant glad to us stretching down his hands though a thousand mouths i had leave to ask and to obtain never one of them should pray for his coming back again oh how wondrous is god's way by that sacrifice so grievous one from bondage is my soul he was given us but to leave us died to lure me to the goal thanks be to thee that thy hand stoutly strove and firmly led ah i saw thine own heart bled now it is for thee instead in the vale of choice to stand now for thee to hear the call of the awful naught or all brand agnes this is darkly said vanquished lo our sorrow lies agnes thou forget'st the word of dread whoso sees jehovah dies brand starts back woe upon me what a light thou hast kindled never no i have stalwart hands for fight and i will not let thee go tear all earthly ties from me all possessions i will lose only never never thee agnes at the crossway stand'st thou choose quench the kindled light i brought fence the fountain of my thought give me back my idle treasures still she lingers by the door give me back the earthly pleasures of the bright blind days of yore thrust me back into the pit where till now i lulled my sin deeper deeper thrust me in thou canst lightly compass it clip my wings and check my flight load my feet and drag me bound down down from thy dizzy height to my lowly native ground let me lead the life i led when the darkness yet was dread if thou darest thus to lose then as ever i am thine at the crossway stands thou choose brand woe if such a choice were mine ah but in some place afar 
Where no bitter memories are, Death and darkness thou shalt brave. Agnes. Hast thou here thy work forgotten, Holy work and holy grave? And the thousand sin besotten, It is here thy task to save? Those thou guidest for God's sake To the fountain that renews? At the crossway stand'st thou, choose. Brand. Then I have no choice to make. Agnes throws herself on his neck. Thanks for that and thanks for all thou the weary one hast led over me the dank mists fall thou wilt watch beside my bed brand sleep thy day's work now is done agnes done and now the lamp alight i have fought out all my might i am weary of the sun oh but praising god is best brand good night brand good night agnes good night thanks for all now i will rest goes brand clenches his hands against his breast soul be patient in thy pain triumph in its bitter cost all to lose was all to gain naught abideth but the loss end of act four recording by expatriate in bangor maine Part One of Brand by Henrik Ibsen, translated by Charles Harold Herford, eighteen fifty three to nineteen thirty one. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Expatriate in Bangor, Maine. Act Five, Part One. A year and a half later, the new church stands complete and adorned for consecration. The river runs close beside it. A misty morning, early the sexton is busy hanging garlands outside the church shortly after comes the schoolmaster the schoolmaster at work already the sexton none too soon lend me a hand i must festoon the path to keep the march in trim the schoolmaster before the manse i see ascending something that rears a rounded rim the sexton ay surely surely the schoolmaster what is pending the sexton why it is what they call a shield with parson's name in a gold field the schoolmaster to-day the valley's in high feather from far and wide they're flocking hither the fjord with sails is all agleam the sexton yes they've awakened from their dream in the late pastor's day no breast with bitterness and strife was cumbered each slumbered as his neighbour slumbered i'm not quite certain which is best the schoolmaster life sexton life the sexton yet you and i pass this life unregarding by how comes it the schoolmaster why before the folk slumbered and nowise toiled as we did we fell asleep when they awoke because we were no longer needed the sexton but yet you said that life was best the schoolmaster by dean and deacon that's professed and i too say so like the rest provided mind the life in view is that of the great residue but we too serve another law than that which holds the mass in awe set by the state to guard and guide look we must stand against the tide cherish the church and education and keep aloof from agitation briefly in nothing take a side the sexton but parson's in it heart and soul the schoolmaster and just in that forgets his role his own superiors well i know look with displeasure on his action and dared they but offend his faction had thrown him over long ago but he is fine he smells a rat he's got a recipe for that he builds the church here you may glue all eyes up if you will but do what's done none has a thought to spare for the doing of it's all they care for so they who follow and we who lead all equally are men of deed the sexton well you have sat in the great thing and ought to know the land and folk but one who travelled through the glen a little after we awoke said we'd been sleeping folks till then but having waked we're promising the schoolmaster yes we're a promising folk of course and mighty promises we're giving so fast we stride we'll soon be living elucidations of their force the sexton one thing i've pondered many a day you've studied 
what do folks intend by that same people's promise pray the schoolmaster a people's promise my good friend that were a long investigation but tis a thing that is pursued by force of sheer anticipation a grand idea they must make good in future be it understood the sexton thanks i see that at any rate but there is another point i'd fain beg of you briefly to explain the schoolmaster speak freely the sexton tell me at what date comes what is called the future the schoolmaster why it never does come the sexton never the schoolmaster no and only follows nature so for when it comes you see tis grown the present and the future's flown the sexton why yes to that there's no reply that logic one must needs accept but when then is the promise kept the schoolmaster a promise is a future dated pact as i have already stated tis kept in future the sexton that is clear when will the future though be here the schoolmaster aside oh you blessed sexton aloud worthy friend must i the argument recall the future cannot come at all because its coming is its end the sexton thank you the schoolmaster in all conceptions lies something that looks like artifice but yet is quite direct and plain that is to say for any brain able to reckon up to ten to make a promise means at last to break it spite of best intent truth to one's word has always passed for hard but you may just as well prove it purely impossible if you've an eye for argument there let this promise question be come tell me the sexton hist the schoolmaster what is it the sexton hark the schoolmaster i hear the organ play the sexton tis he the schoolmaster the pastor the sexton even so the schoolmaster save the mark but he is out betimes the sexton i guess he stirred no pillow yesternight the schoolmaster what do you say the sexton all is not right he's felt the pang of loneliness since first his widowhood began he hides his sorrow all he can but whiles it may not be controlled his heart's a jar that will not hold and overflows by base and brim so then he plays tis like a wild weeping for buried wife and child the schoolmaster it is as if they talked with him the sexton as if one suffered one consoled the schoolmaster hm if one dared to be affected the sexton ah if one did not serve the state the schoolmaster ah if one bore no leaden weight of forms that have to be respected the sexton ah if one dared toss tape and seal and ledger to the deuce for ever the schoolmaster and leave off striving to be clever and sexton if one dared to feel the sexton no one is near let's feel my friend the schoolmaster we cannot fitly condescend to smirch ourselves in human slime let no man says the parson dare to be two things at the same time and with the best will no one can be an official and a man our part in all things is to swear by our great exemplar the mayor the sexton why just by him the schoolmaster do you recall the fire that wrecked his house and yet the deeds were rescued one and all the sexton it was an evening the schoolmaster wild and wet and like ten toiling men toiled he but indoors stood the devil in glee guffawing and his wife shrieked out oh save your soul sweet husband see satan will have you then a shout rang backward through the surging vapours my soul may go to hell for me just lend a hand to save the papers look that's a mayor without within from top to toe from core to skin he'll win his way i'm certain yonder where his life's toil shall have its price the sexton and where may that be the schoolmaster where i wonder but in the good mayor's paradise the sexton my learned friend the schoolmaster what now the sexton a token of our fermenting age i hear methinks in every word you've spoken for that it does ferment is clear witness the reverence all refuse to old established want and use the schoolmaster 
what moulders in the moulds its doom what rots must nourish what is fresh their vitals canker and consume let them cough up the impost hume or to the grave with their dead flesh there's ferment yes past fear or hope that's plain without a telescope the day our ancient church lay low everything with it seemed to go wherein our life struck root and found its home soil and its native ground the sexton then on the throng a stillness came down with it down with it they cried at first but soon that clamour died and many felt their ears aflame and stole shy glances of distrust when the ancestral house of prayer was to be levelled then and there by hands unhallowed in the dust the schoolmaster but countless bonds they fancied knit them ever to the ghost of it so long as yonder palace lacked the final seal of consecration and so in anguished expectation they watched it growing into fact and blink before the glorious end when the old tatters should descend and the new colours flaunt the gale but ever as the spire up clomb, they grew more silent and more pale and now well now the end is come the sexton look at the throng both young and old swarm hither the schoolmaster and by thousands told how still they are the sexton and yet they moan like sea for feeling tempest fret the schoolmaster it is the people's hearts that groan as if with piercing doubts beset the great new age they did forebode or were in solemn sessions met to nominate another god where where is the priest i stifle here would heaven that i could disappear the sexton i too i too the schoolmaster in hours like this no man well knows how deep he is each depth a deeper depth revealing we will then will not and then doubt the sexton my friend the schoolmaster my friend the sexton hmm the schoolmaster speak it out the sexton i think in very truth we're feeling the schoolmaster feeling not i the sexton nor i take warning a single witness i defy the schoolmaster we're men not schoolgirls you and i my youngsters wait for me good morning goes the sexton just now i'd visions like a fool now i'm again collected cool and close as clasps to work i'll press here's no more scope for hand or tool and satan's couch is idleness goes out at the other side the organ which during what precedes has been heard in an undertone suddenly peals forth and ends with a discordant shriek shortly afterwards brand comes out brand no i vainly vainly seek to unlock the heart of sound all the song becomes a shriek walls and arches vault and ground seem to stoop and crowd and throng seem to clasp with iron force seem to close around the song as the coffin round the course vain my effort vain my suit all the organ's music's mute fain a prayer i would have spoken but my lifted voice fell broken like the muffled moan it fell of a riven and rusted bell twas as if the lord were seated in the chancel and beheld and in wrath while i entreated all my piteous prayer repelled great shall be the house of god in my confidence i swore it fearless smote and wrecked and tore it swept it level with the sod now the finished work stands fast as the people throng before it still they cry how vast how vast is it they see true or i who no vastness can descry is it great the thing i willed is it in this house fulfilled can the rushing fire of passion that begot it here be stilled was the temple of this fashion that i dreamed should overspan all the misery of man ah had agnes stayed with me not thus vainly had i striven small things greatly she could see from doubt's anguish set me free clasped together earth and heaven like the green roof of the tree he observed the preparations for the festival all with wreaths and banners hung children practising their song so the manse they surge and throng festal greetings they would bring me yonder gleams my name in gold give me light o god or fling me fathom deep beneath this mould in an hour begins the feast 
every thought and every tongue will be ringing with the priest all their thoughts i can discern all their words i feel them burn all their praise on elf wings sped rives me like an icy blast oh to be enfolded fast in oblivion hide my head in a wild beast's hole at last the mayor enters in full uniform radiant with satisfaction and greets him here is the great day come at last the sabbath to the toiling six now we can strike our sail and fix our sunday pennon to the mast glide softly with the gliding flood and find that all is very good bravo great noble man whose fame will soon be far and wide related bravo i moved yet all the same most inexpressibly elated but you appear brand i'm suffocated the mayor pooh a mere momentary whim preach you now till it roars again fill the folk's bushel to the brim not one his wonder can contain the resonance is so full and plain brand indeed the mayor the dean himself is warm in admiration and delight and then what elegance of form and what a grandeur what a height in every part brand you've noted this the mayor what noted brand it seems great to you the mayor why it not only seems but is no matter what the point of view brand it is great really that is true the mayor great yes god bless me and to spare for folks so far to north elsewhere they've higher standards i'm aware but among us who captive dwell amid drear wastes and barren mounds on the scant verge of fjord and fell its greatness mazes and confounds brand yes that is so and all we do is change an old lie for a new the mayor what brand we have lured their hearts away from the time-honoured gloom and mould to soaring spire and open day how venerable they cried of old now vast in chorus now they roar the like was never seen before the mayor my worthy friend i needs must hold his breeding scarcely quantum suff for whom it is not great enough brand but clear it shall be unto all that as it stands the church is small to keep that hidden were to lie the mayor nay listen let such whimsies fly what can it profit to dispraise what you yourself have toiled to raise you've satisfied their utmost dream it seems to them more rich and rare than aught they ever saw anywhere let it continue so to seem why should we vex their silly sight with proffers of the flaming link when they're indifferent to light the question's only what they think it does not signify a jot though the church were a pigeon cot if in the faith they're rooted fast that it is infinitely vast brand in every matter the same thought the mayor to-day moreover we hold fet the whole assembly is our guest it is a point of etiquette that everything should look its best and for your own sake most of all it were judicious to keep clear of that sore fact that it is small brand how so the mayor well listen you shall hear firstly the headmen of the town are giving you a piece of plate whose graved inscription is frustrate if the work's size is whittled down and then the ode composed express in my inaugural address you leave them helpless in the lurch docking the greatness of the church you see then you must yield your doubt and boldly face the matter out brand i see what oft has stung my eye a lying triumph crown the lie the mayor but in god's name my worthy friend where do these strong expressions tend however waving points of taste hear now my second reason gold as that was silver for behold you like a chosen son are graced with favour in the royal sight in short you have been named a knight this very day you'll walk elate cross upon breast a titled man brand another heavier cross's weight i bear take that from me who can the mayor what's this you do not seem to shake with agitation at such prize you mystery of mysteries but pray consider for god's sake brand stamping this is mere babble of vain speech nothing i learn and nothing teach 
you have not grasped the smallest shred of the true sense of what i said i meant not greatness men compute and measure by the inch and foot but that which viewless darts and streams pierces the soul with frosts and fires that beckons to impassioned dreams and like the starlit heaven inspires that leave me i am worn oppressed convince teach edify the rest goes up towards the church the mayor to himself in such a labyrinth who can stray and find an issue greatness lay in something that is viewless streams not inchwise measured lifts to dreams and starlit heaven it went so surely has he been lunching prematurely goes brand comes down over the open ground so desolate on the upland drear i never stood as i stand here my impotent questionings evoke echoes that cackle and that croak looks towards the mayor for him i would my heel might bruise his head each time i make emprise to loose him from the bond of lies with shameless wantonness he spews his rotten soul before my eyes o oh, agnes why wast thou so frail would that this hollow game were done where none give in and none prevail yes hopeless he that fights alone the dean coming up o oh, my beloved o oh, my sheep nay i beg pardon would have said my revered brother cannot keep my predication from my head i got it yesterday by rote the taste still lingers in my throat enough of that to you i offer my thanks whose energy began whose firmness carried through the plan despite the babbler and the scoffer fell that which was about to fall and worthily restored it all brand far from that yet the dean how say you friend is consecration not the end brand a house new builded asks as well a cleansed soul therein to dwell the dean all that will come without our stir so gay so elegant a roof will be an adequate reproof to every unwashed worshipper and that delightful sounding board that doubles every pious word will render without fail our flocks five score per cent more orthodox results so notable as these the first-rate nationalities themselves tis said can hardly better for this your country is your debtor yours only let me then express these heartfelt brotherly thanks of mine to be re-echoed as i guess in winged words across the wine by many a fiery young divine when at the festal board we crown this the great day of your renown but my dear brand you look so faint brand my heart and hope have long been spent the dean oh no wonder with so grave a care and all unaided and unfriended but now the worst of it is ended and all gives promise of a splendid day for our function don't despair all will go well reflect a throng has gathered many thousand strong from far-off parishes and who can vie in eloquence with you see where your reverend brethren stand to welcome you with heart and hand while all these lowly bosoms beat with ardour for you first to last and then the work so ably planned the decorations so complete the general theme how great how vast and the unperilled repast into the kitchen i was looking just now and saw the calf a cooking nay brand a pretty beast i vow you must have had some trouble now in these hard times before you found so fine a bit of flesh to cater with meat at half a crown a pound but that can be deferred till later i'm on another errand bound brand speak freely slash stab rive and rend the dean i have a milder way my friend but briefly for our duties press one little matter i confess i'd have you from to-day set right a task that cannot but be light nay i imagine you can guess half what i'm hinting at at least i mean your duties as a priest hitherto you have been a loose observer still of want and use but use and want if not the best of things are yet the needfulest well well i will not be severe you're young and but a novice here town bred and scarcely understand what country usages demand but now now it is urgent friend the lack of judgment to amend you hitherto have too much heeded what this man and what that man needed that error in your private ear 
is grievous weigh them in the block use the same comb for all the flock you won't repent it never fear brand be more explicit the dean the thing's clear you for the parish's behoof have built a church that is the woof that robes the spirit of law and peace for to the state religion is the power that lifts and purifies the stronghold where its safety lies the universal moral measure you see the state is scant of treasure and wants full value for its pence good christians means good citizens do you suppose it pays its pelf to be for god and man a tool and bring annoyance on itself no faith the state is not a fool and all our course would run amiss it did not the state by strictest rule look only to the life that is but the state's object my good friend through its officials must be gained in this case through its priests brand each word is wisdom speak the dean i'm near the end this church you see you have conferred upon the state for its sole profit and therefore all the uses of it must to the state's advantage tend this is the meaning note it well of our forthcoming celebration this shall be meant by chiming bell and this by gift deeds recitation a promise thus the gift implies whose force i'd have you scrutinize brand by god i never meant it so the dean yes but it's now too late you know brand too late too late that will be seen the dean be sensible i can't keep grave what is the tragedy therein you are not asked to promise sin souls do not grow more hard to say because the country profits too with due discretion and dispatch to master's bidding you may do you were not made a priest to snatch peter's or harry's single soul out of the torments of the lake but that the parish as a whole might of the shower of grace partake and the whole parish saved it's clear you save every parishioner the state is what you hardly dream exactly half republican liberty held in strictest ban equality in high esteem yet is equality never won but by destroying more and less and it is that you have not done nay you have striven to express and emphasize unlikenesses that slumbered hitherto unknown men mere church members till of late to personalities are grown that does no service to the state and thus it is each parish rate each offering to the common good is from unwilling niggards bled the church no longer is the hood that fits alike on every head brand oh vistas infinite unfold the dean don't be cast down no gain in that though i must own i shudder at the dire confusion i behold but while there's life there's hope and you are by this gift baptized anew to obligations yet more great of serving by your church the state men need a rule in all they do of reckless forces breaking loose like colts undaunted by the curb spurn gates and fences and disturb the thousand landmarks of old use each ordered mode of life proclaims one law that goes by many names the artist calls it school and i'm mistaken if i have not heard our soldiers call it keeping time ah yes friend that's the very word that's what the state desires at last double quick time gets on too fast and goose step lags too far behind all men to step alike and beat the self-same music with their feet that is the method to its mind brand kennel the eagle and let loose on empyrean flights the goose the dean we thank the lord are not as these but if we must use allegory we'll turn to scripture if you please for every case it has a story from genesis to revelation it swarms with stimulating fable i will but hint in illustration at that projected tower of babel and how did the good folks prosper pray and why the answer's clear as day their ranks divided sort by sort each one his private language spoke they drew not in the common yoke grew personalities in short that's half the twofold core that lies embedded in this shell of fable that all strength severed is unstable and death doomed who the world defies when god desires a man to fall he makes him an original the romans had it faith that god made the man mad but mad is odd an oddness singleness you know 
therefore who fights without a friend must look to suffer in the end the fate that overtook the man whom david posted in the van brand yes very likely but what though in death i see not overthrow and is your faith quite firm and fast that had those builders spoken still one speech and acted with one will they would have piled the pinnacle of babel up to heaven at last the dean to heaven no that is where it lies no man gets quite to paradise there see we have the second core embedded in this shell of fable that every building is unstable which to the starry heaven would soar brand yet jacob's ladder reached that goal thither by longing soars the soul the dean in that way why god bless me yes further discussions needless there heaven is the wage of faithlessness of course and moral life and prayer but life and faith hold such descent they only thrive when kept apart six days for toiling hands are meant the seventh for stirring of the heart if all the week we preached and prayed the sabbath had in vain been made god's incense rightly to be used must not be lavishly diffused worship like art was not created to be in perfume dissipated the ideal you may safely sound from pulpit's holy vantage ground but with your surplus lay it by when you emerge beneath the sky all things as i have said are based on laws that strictly must be traced and my sole end in speaking is to give this fact due emphasis brand one thing i very clearly see no state sole case is fit for me the mayor a perfect fit i will engage my friend but on a loftier stage you must go up brand is that an end i reach by plunging in the mire the dean whoso him humbleth shall go higher hooks will not catch unless they bend brand man can't be used unless he perish the dean good god how can you think i cherish any such purpose brand ay indeed that's the condition first to bleed your bloodless spirit to put on men must be first a skeleton end of act five part one recording by expatriate in bangor maine Five, part two of brand by henrik ibsen translated by charles harold herford eighteen fifty three to nineteen thirty one this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by expatriate in bangor maine act five part two brand ay indeed that's the condition first to bleed your bloodless spirit to put on man must be first a skeleton the dean i would not put the lancet through a very kitten far less you but yet i thought no harm were done in leaving just ajar the door that opens where i went before brand and do you know what you have sought this that upon the state's cock cry i that ideal should deny for which i until now have fought the dean deny friend who makes such request duty is all i bid you follow i ask you quietly to swallow that which your people can't digest keep it intact if you're disposed but yet hermetically closed at home in god's name soar and swell not as a public spectacle trust me the will that won't be bent brings its unfailing punishment brand i fear of torment hope of gain are on thy brow the brand of cain which cries that thou by worldly art hast slain the able in thy heart the dean to himself upon my word he calls me thou that is too much aloud i will not now prolong our strife but to conclude would have it clearly understood that if you'd prosper you must weigh what land you live in and what day for no man wins the fight with fortune but in alliance with his time which of the men who paint and rhyme dare fail when social claims importune look at our soldiers why the gleam of sabres is become a dream and wherefore since the law commands postpone thy own need to the lands let each his own excrescence pair neither uplift him nor protrude but vanish in the multitude 
humane the ages says the mayor and if humanely it be met will bring you fame and fortune yet but all your angles must be rounded your guards and bosses scraped and pounded you must grow sleek as others do all singularities eschew if you would labour without let brand away away the dean i quite agree men of your stamp must finally be summoned to a higher seat but in the greater as the less only the regimental dress will make your happiness complete the corporal staff in hand must knock the sense of time into his flock for to our mind the best of all commanders is the corporal just as the corporal leads his men into the church battalion wise so must the priest lead his again by parishes to paradise it's all so easy faith you say broad based upon authority which being upon learning stayed may be implicitly obeyed while rules and ritual leave no doubt how faith ought to be acted out wherefore my brother pluck up cheer employ the time for meditation reflect upon your situation and don't give way to futile fear i'll just see now if i can pitch my music to a higher note though with an unaccustomed throat a sounding-board so seldom hear farewell farewell i mean to preach of human nature's sinful prime god's image nigh obliterated but now i'm thinking it is time the inner mortal should be baited goes brand stands for a moment as if petrified in thought all i have offered for my call god's as i vainly held it all and now one trumpet blast revealed before what idols i had kneeled not yet not yet i'm not their slave yon churchyard has had blood to sup light life i've laid in yonder grave my soul shall not be yielded up oh horrible to stand alone amid a glimmering world of dead horrible to receive a stone howe'er i hunger after bread how true how deadly true his strain but yet how vacant and how vain dim broods god's dove of piercing eyes alas to me she never flies oh had i but one faithful breast to give me strength to give me rest einar pale emaciated dressed in black comes along the road and stops on perceiving brand brand cries out you einar einar by that name i'm known brand i was just thirsting for a breast that was not made of wood or stone come to my heart of hearts be pressed einar my haven's found i am at rest brand you bear a grudge for the event of our last meeting einar in no wise i blame you not you were but sent to be the passive instrument wherewith god oped my erring eyes brand starts back what tongue is this einar the tongue of peace the tongue they learn who timely torn from sleep of sin awake new-born marvellous i had heard of this that you in quite another way were walking einar i was led astray by pride in my own strength secure the idols the world holds divine the talent i was told was mine my singer's voice were all malign seductions unto satan's lure but god i praise him for me wrought left not his erring sheep unsought he helped me in my hour of need brand helped you in what way einar yes indeed i fell brand fell how einar to dissipation with gambling tastes he me imbued brand and that was god's solicitude einar twas the first step to my salvation on that my health he undermined the talent from my fingers fled my love of revelry declined then to the hospital consigned long i lay sick and round my bed flames seemed to glare and on each wall myriads of giant flies to crawl came out and soon acquaintance made with certain sisters three and all soldiers in god's cause armed and paid and they together with a priest me from the yoke of earth released plucked me from sin that held me fast and made me the lord's child at last brand indeed einar divergent paths we follow one seeks the height and one the hollow brand but after einar true i turned me thence to preach for total abstinence 
but since that work for the unwary is strewn with perilous temptation i chose another occupation and travel now as missionary brand where einar to the caudate nigger state but now i think we'll separate my time is precious brand won't you stay you see here's festival to-day einar thanks no the swarthy heathens wait farewell going brand and does no memory stir bidding you ask einar of what brand of her who would have grieved at the abyss that parts another day from this einar i guess your meaning you refer to that young female whose allure held me in pleasure's net secure till faith's ablution made me pure yes and how is it then with her brand next year i won her for my wife einar that unimportant i prefer to leave these trivial facts unknown what's weighty i desire alone brand god richly blessed our common life with joy and sorrow the child pined einar that's unimportant brand so it is he was but given to be resigned our eyes one day shall look on his but afterwards she also died their graves bloom yonder side by side einar that's unimportant brand that likewise einar such things are trifles in my eyes how did she die i want to know brand with hope that yet a dawn shall glow with all her heart's rich treasure whole with will that never lost control with thanks for all that life had lent and life had taken away she went einar trumpery figments every one say what the faith she died in was brand unshaken einar in what brand in god einar alas only in him she is undone brand what say you einar damned to my regret brand quietly go scoundrel einar you shall feel as well the clutches of the lord of hell for both eternal torments wait brand you wretch dare sentence to the fire yourself late wallowed in the mire einar on me no spot is to be seen the tub of faith hath washed me clean each splash has vanished scraped and scored on holiness's washing-board in vigilance's mangle i have wrung my adam's vesture dry and shine like snowy surplus fair so plathered with the suds of prayer brand hold einar hold yourself here's sulphur fume i see the glints of satan's horn i am salvation's good wheat corn and you the shovelled chaff of doom goes brand looks a while after him all at once his eyes flash and he breaks out that that is the man i need now all bonds are burst that bound me now my flag shall wave around me though none follow where i lead the mayor comes hastily in pray dear pastor hasten do the procession people stand waiting only the command brand let them come then the mayor wanting you pray reflect and hasten in all impatient to begin see the whole mass throng and strain like a torrent after storm on the manse they surge and swarm shouting for the priest again hark you for the priest they shout pray make haste i much misdoubt they may scarcely prove humane brand never will i hide my face in the crowd that you command let them seek me here i stand the mayor are you sane brand the path you pace is too narrow for my tread the mayor and twill still grow less and less as the people push ahead zounds they spurn at rod and check parsons dean and corporation jostled to the brimming beck quickly friend make application of the scourge of your persuasion ha too late they smash the line the procession is a wreck the multitudes stream in and break in wild disorder through the procession to the church voices priest others pointing up to the church steps where brand stands see yonder others again give the sign the dean jostled in the throng mayor mayor control them pray the mayor all my words are thrown away the schoolmaster to brand speak to them and cast a gleam on their spirit's troubled stream 
what you summoned us to see was it feast or foolery brand oh there stirs a current then in these stagnant waters men at the crossway stand ye choose wholly ye must will to lose the old vesture of your lust utterly anew be clad ere our temple from the dust rises as it shall and must officials he is raving clergy he is mad brand yes i was so when i thought ye in some sense also wrought for the god who hateth lies when i dreamed that i could lure to your hearts his spirit pure by a feat of compromise small the church was logic thence paltered to the inference twice the size that cannot fail fivefold that must needs prevail oh i saw not that the call was for nothing or else all down that easy way i reeled but to-day the lord has spoken in this very hour has pealed overhead the awful blast of his judgment trump at last and i listened in the wind of my anguish baffled broken even as david having sinned now all hesitation dies men the devil is compromise the multitude with growing excitement down with them that quenched our light sapped the marrow of our might brand in your souls the demon dwells that has bound you with his spells you have put your powers at mart you have cleft yourselves in twain discord therefore numbs your brain petrifies your hollow heart to the church to-day what drew you but the show the show naught else roll of organ clash of bells and to feel the tingle through you of a speaking furnace dart as it lisps and lilts and prattles as it rolls and roars and rattles by the strictest rules of art the dean to himself the mayor's chatter he must mean the mayor likewise oh that's the twaddle of the dean brand nothing but the altar glow of the festival you know get you home then to your sloth get you home to toil and stress soul as well as body clothed in its common workday dress and the bible slumbers sound till the next saint's day comes round oh it was not to this end that the offering cup i drained i the greater church ordained that its shadow might descend not alone on faith and creed but on everything in life that by god's leave lives indeed on our daily strain and strife midnight weeping evening rest youth's impetuous delight all that harbours of good right mean or precious in the breast yonder fosses hidden thunder and the beck that sparkles under and the bellow of wild weather and the murmurous ocean's tongue should have melted soul possessed with the organs rolled together and the gathered people's song sweep this lying labour hence mighty only in pretence stricken inly with decay on its consecration day symbol of your impotence all the germs of soul you aim by divided toil to maim for the weak six days ye drag to the deepest deep god's flag for one only of the seven let it flutter forth to heaven voices from the throng lead us lead us tempest lowers lead us and the day is ours the dean do not hear him naught he knows of the faith a christian owes brand i thou namest the flaw whereby both the throng and thou and i are beset to souls alone faith is possible show me one show me one that his best treasure has not inly flung to waste in his fumbling or his haste first the reeling plunge for pleasure to the tabor's juggling strain till the zest of pleasure's slain then soul ruins charred and stark turn to dance before the dark when the cup's last liquor slips through the brain-worn cripple's lips ho tis time to pray and mend sure of pardon in the end first god's image you outwear live the beast within you bear then to mercy cry your need seeking god as invalids so his kingdom's overthrown what should he with souls effete grovelling at his mercy seat said he not that then alone when your life-blood pulses tense through all veins of soul and sense ye his kingdom shall inherit children ye must be to share it no man hobbles through its gate come then ye whose cheek is rife with the bloom of childhood yet to the greater church of life the mayor open it then the multitude crying out as in anguish no not this brand 
it has neither mark nor bound but its floor the green earth is mead and mountain sea and sound and the overarching sky is its only canopy there shall all its work be wrought as an anthem for god's ear there thy weekday toil be sought with no sacrilege to fear there the world be like a tree folded in its shielding bark faith and action blended be there shall daily labour fuse with right teaching and right use daily drudgery be one with star flights beyond the sun one with yule-tide revelry and the dance before the ark a stormy agitation passes over the multitude some retire most press close about brand a thousand voices light is kindled in the dark life and serving god's the same the dean woe on us he wins them hark mayor sexton beadle clark the mayor aside do not scream so of god's name with a bull who wants a bout let him roar his raven out brand to the multitude hence away god is afar cannot be where such men are fair his kingdom is and free locks the church door and takes the keys in his hand here i will be priest no more i revoke my gift from me no man shall receive the key of the yet unopened door throws the keys into the river wilt thou in thou slave of clay through the crypt hole worm thy way lithe thy back is creep and ply from that charnel let thy sigh roam the earth with venomed breath like the flagging gasp of death the mayor aside with relief ha his hope of knighthood's dim the dean similarly well no bishopric for him brand come thou young man fresh and free let a life breeze lighten thee from this dim vault's clinging dust conquer with me for thou must one day waken one day rise nobly break with compromise up and fly the evil days fly the maze of middle ways strike the foeman full and fair battle to the death declare the mayor hold i'll read the riot act brand read with you i break my pact the multitude show the way and we will follow brand over frozen height and hollow over all the land will fare loose each soul-destroying snare that this people holds in fee lift and lighten and set free blot the vestige of the beast each a man and each a priest stamp anew the outworn brand make a temple of the land the multitude including the sexton and schoolmaster throng around him brand is lifted onto their shoulders many voices tis a great time visions fair dazzle through the noontide glare the great mass of the assemblage streams away up the valley a few remain the dean to the departing crowd o oh, ye blinded ones what would you lo behind his seeming sooth satan scheming to delude you the mayor ho there turn folks born to track safe home waters still and smooth stop ye go to ruin and rack dogs and not a word comes back the dean think of household and of home voices from the multitude to a greater home we come the mayor think of meadow plot and field think of teeming stall and fold voices heavenly dews did manna yield when the chosen starved of old the dean hark your women cry in chorus voices in the distance ours they are not if they quail the dean father's gone your children wail the whole multitude be against us or be for us the dean gazes a while with folded hands after them then dejectedly by his faithless flock deserted stands the old shepherd heavy-hearted plundered to the very skin the mayor shaking his fist at brand his the scandal his the sin but we'll shortly win the fight the dean almost breaking down win of all our people cheated the mayor ay but we are not defeated if i know my lambs aright follows them the dean whither will he in heaven's name as i live he's after them ha my drooping courage rises i will also do and dare make assaults and capture prizes bring my steed that is prepare a safe steady mountain mare they go by the highest farms in the valley the land rises in the background and passes into great barren mountains rain 
brand followed by the multitude men women and children comes up the slopes brand look onward triumph flies ahead your homes are hidden in the deep and over it from steep to steep the storm his cloudy tent has spread forget the pit of sloth ye trod fly free aloft ye sons of god a man wait my old father is dead beaten another since yesterday i've nothing eaten several ay still our hunger slake our thirst brand on on across the mountain first schoolmaster which way brand all ways alike are right that reach the goal this way pursue a man nay it is steep and twill be night ere we are well upon the height the sexton and that way lies the ice church too brand the steep way is the short way still a woman my foot is sore another my child is ill a third where shall i get a drop to drink the schoolmaster priest feed the people see they sink many voices a miracle a miracle brand oh the slave stamp has branded deep the toil you shirk the higher you crave up and shake off this deadly sleep or else get back into the grave the schoolmaster ay he is right first face the foe the higher comes afterwards you know brand it shall as sure as god looks forth over the breadth and depth of earth many voices he's prophesying he's prophesying several hark priest will it be warm this fight others and bloody and will it last till night the schoolmaster aside i trust there is no risk of dying a man priest must we really face the fire another what is my portion of the hire a woman you're sure i shall not lose my son the sexton by tuesday will the field be won brand looking round in bewilderment on the throne what would you know what's your demand the sexton firstly how long we shall make war then of our total loss therein and finally how much we win brand this ye demand the sexton yes faith before we did not rightly understand brand deeply moved then ye shall understand it now the multitude thronging closer speak speak brand how long the war will last as long as life till ye have cast all ye possess before the lord and slain the spirit of accord until your stiff will bend and bow and every coward scruple fall before the bidding naught or all what you will lose your gods abhorred your feast to mammon and the lord the glittering bonds ye do not loathe and all the pillows of your sloth what you will gain a will that's whole a soaring faith a single soul the willingness to lose that gave itself rejoicing to the grave a crown of thorns on every brow that is the wage you're earning now the multitude with a furious cry betrayed betrayed deceived misled brand i say but what i always said several you promised us the victor's prize and now it turns to sacrifice brand i promise victory and to you victory shall indeed be due but every man who fights in front must perish in the battle's brunt if that he dares not let him lay his arms down ere the battle day the flag's predestined to surrender that has a timorous defender and he that shudders at the cost ere he is wounded he is lost the multitude he insolently bids us die to serve unborn posterity brand through thorny steeps of sacrifice the way unto our canaan lies triumph through death i call you all as champions of god to fall the sexton well we are in a pretty plight no mercy to expect below the schoolmaster nay we have bade the dale good night the sexton and forward forward who will go some to death with him the schoolmaster twere pity so we want a general you know women pointing in terror downwards the dean the dean the schoolmaster to the throng nay never fear the dean comes in followed by some of those who remain behind oh my beloved oh my sheep to the old shepherd's voice give ear the schoolmaster to the throng a home no more we have below better we follow up the steep the dean that ye could grieve my heart so sore 
and pierce me with a wound so deep brand thou wast their soul's scourge evermore the dean don't heed him he is stuffing you with idle promises several that's true the dean but we are gracious and forgive where we true penitence perceive oh turn your eyes into your hearts and mark the diabolic arts with which lie won you to his aid the multitude ay sure enough we were betrayed the dean and then consider what can ye a knot of scattered dalesmen do are high heroic deeds for you can ye give bondsmen liberty you have your daily task pursue it whatever is beyond eschew it what can your prowess brave or balk ye have your humble homes to keep what would you between eagle and hawk what would you between wolf and bear ye fall but to the strongest share o oh, my beloved o oh, my sheep the multitude ay woe on us his words are true end of act five part two recording by expatriate in bangor maine part three of brand by henrik ibsen translated by charles harold herford eighteen fifty three to nineteen thirty one this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by expatriate in bangor maine act five part three the multitude ay woe on us his words are true the sexton and yet when from the dale we drew upon ourselves we locked the door we have no home there as before the schoolmaster no he has opened all our eyes laid bare sins sicknesses and lies the sleepy people sleeps no more and deadly to our waking seems the life that satisfied our dreams the dean ah trust me that will soon pass over all will return to the old state if you will just be still and wait these folks i'll wage will soon recover the wonted calm they have foregone brand choose men and women some home others too late too late along the height press on the mayor enters in haste oh lucky chance i caught you up women ah dear kind master don't be stern the mayor not now provided you return a better day a brighter season dawns for us if you'll hark to reason you'll all be rich men ere you sup several how so the mayor there is a herring horde by millions swimming in the fjord the multitude what does he say the mayor set all to rights fly from these stormy uplands bare till now the herring swam elsewhere now friends at last our barren bites good fortune tardily requites brand between god's summons choose and his the mayor consult your own shrewd faculties the dean a miracle divine is here a providential token clear how oft i dreamt that this befell i took it for a nightmare's spell and now its meaning is revealed brand yourselves you ruin if you yield many a herring hoard the mayor by millions told the dean for wife and children bread and gold the mayor you see then this is not an hour to waste your forces in a fray and against energies whose power strikes in the very dean dismay now ye have other ends in view than idly pining for the sky heaven trust me can your arms defy and god's not easy to subdue don't mix yourselves in others strife but gather in the proffered fruit that is a practical pursuit it does not call for blood and knife that asks no sacrifice of life and gives you its good things to boot brand just sacrifice is his demand flame writ in heaven by his hand the dean ah if you feel a call that way just come to me next sunday say and on my word i'll the mayor interrupting yes 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 the sexton aside to the dean shall i be suffered keep my place the schoolmaster similarly shall i be forced to leave my school the dean aside to them if these stiff necks you overrule we will deal mildly with your case the mayor away away with you time flies the sexton to boat to boat whoever's wise some ay but the priest 
the sexton oh leave the fool the schoolmaster here speaks the lord as clearly look as in an open printed book the mayor leave him that's law and justice too with babbling tales he flouted you several he lied to us the dean his creed's accursed and think he never got a first some never got what the mayor a grain of sense the sexton nay of that we have evidence the dean vainly his mother's dying breath for the last sacrament made suit the mayor his child he almost did to death the sexton his wife as well women o oh, heartless brute the dean bad spouse bad father and bad son worse christian surely there is none many voices our ancient church he overthrew others and shot the bolt upon the new others again he wrecked us in a roaring stream the mayor he pilfered my asylum scheme brand on every branded brow i see this generation's destiny the whole throng roaring oh never heed him stone and knife send the fiend flying for his life brand is driven with stones out into the wild his pursuers then return the dean o oh, my beloved o oh, my sheep back to your homes and hearths once more your eyes in true repentance steep and see what blessings are in store god in his mercy is so good he asketh not the guiltless blood and our authorities as well are singularly placable mayor magistrate and sheriff too will not be over hard on you and for myself that large humanity that marks our modern christianity is mine your rulers will descend and dwell with you as friend with friend the mayor but should abuses be detected they must past question be corrected when we've a little time to move i'll have appointed a commission to seek how best we may improve your intellectual condition some clergymen it should include such as the dean and i think good and furthermore if you prefer the sexton and the schoolmaster with others of a humbler sort you'll all be satisfied in short the dean yes we'll relieve your burdens all as ye this day have brought relief to your old shepherd in his grief let each find comfort in the thought that here a miracle was wrought farewell good fortune to your hall the sexton ah there's true charity if you will the schoolmaster so meek and unassuming still women so kindly and so nice other women and then such condescending gentlemen the sexton they don't demand the martyr's throw the schoolmaster the lord's prayer is not all they know the throng passes on downwards the dean to the mayor ah that has taken it is plain a great revulsion is in train for by god's blessed benefaction there is a thing men call reaction the mayor twas my achievement to control the infant riot ere it grew the dean ah to the miracle most was due the mayor what miracle the dean the herring shoal the mayor whistling uh, that was i need not say a lie the dean really a lie the mayor i just let loose at the first fancy that came by is it a sin such means to use in such a cause the dean god bless me no need is an adequate excuse the mayor and then to-morrow when the glow of agitation's dead or dying what will it matter if the end was gained by telling truth or lying the dean i am no formalist my friend looks up into the wild but is not brand that yonder drags his slow course upward the mayor ay you're right a lonely warrior off to fight the dean nay there's another too that lags far in the rear the mayor why that is gerd the herdsman's worthy of the herd the dean facetiously when he has stilled his losing whim this is the epitaph for him here lieth brand his tale's a sad one one soul he saved and that a mad one the mayor with his finger to his nose but on reflection i have some misgivings that the folks decree a little lacked humanity 
the dean shrugging his shoulders vox populi vox dei come they go high up among the mountains a storm is rising and chasing the clouds heavily over the snow slopes black peaks and summits appear here and there and are veiled again by the mist brand comes bleeding and broken up the mountain brand stops and looks backward from the vale they followed thronging never one has reached the height through all bosoms thrilled the longing for a greater day's dawn light through all souls subduing strode the alarum call of god but the sacrifice they dread will the weakling hides his head one man died for them of yore cowardice is crime no more sinks down on a stone and looks with shrinking gaze around oft i shuddered at their doom and i walked with horror quivering as a little child walks shivering amid shrieking shapes that loom in a dim and haunted room but i checked my bosom's quaking and bethought me and consoled it out of doors the day is breaking not of night it is this gloom but the shutters barred and fold it and i thought the day in welling rich with summer's golden bloom shall anon prevail expelling all the darkness that is dwelling in the dim and haunted room oh how bitter my dismay pitchy darkness on me broke and without a nerveless folk sat forlorn by fjord and bay dim traditions treasuring while their sodded souls decay even as year by year the king treasured up his sneffred dead loose the linen shroud o'erspread by her mute heart listening low still upon hope's fragments fed thinking now the rose is red in her pallid ashes blow none like him arose and gave the grave's debt unto the grave none among them wise to know dreaming cannot kindle dust down into the earth it must dust is only made to breed nurture for the new-sown seed night black night and night again over children women men oh could i with leaven flame save them from the straw death shame leaps up gloomy visions i see sweep like the wild hunt through the night lo the time is tempest dight calls for heroes death to dare calls for naked steel to leap and for scabbards to hang bare kinsfolk lo to battle riding while their gentle brothers hiding from the hat of darkness peep and yet more i do divine all the horror of their shame men that shriek and wives that whine deaf to every cry and claim see them on their brows imprinting poor folks sea-bound for their name humble farthings of god's minting pale they listen to the fray willing weakness for their shield rainbow o'er the mead of may flag where fliest thou now afield where's that tricolour to-day which the wind of myriad song beat and bellied from the mast till a zealot king at last split it into teeth and tongue but you used the tongue to brag and what boots the toothed flag if the dragon dares not bite would the folk had spared those cheers and the zealot king those shears foursquare flag of peace suffices when a stranded craft capsizes to give warning of her plight direr visions worse foreboding glare upon me through the gloom britain's smoke-cloud sinks corroding on the land in noisome fume smirches all its tender bloom all its gracious verdure dashes sweeping low with breath of bane stealing sunlight from the plain showering down like rain of ashes on the city of god's doom fouler featured men are grown dropping water's humming drone echoes through the mind's recesses bustling smug a pygmy pack plucks its prey from oars embraces walks with crooked soul and back glares like dwarfs with greedy eyes for the golden glittering lies speechless souls with lips unsmiling hearts that fall the brothers rends not nor their own to fury frets hammer wielding coining filing light's last gleam forlornly flies for this bastard folk forgets that the need of willing ends not when the power of willing dies direr visions direr doom glare upon me through the gloom craft the wolf with howl and yell bays at wisdom son of earth cries of ruin ring to north call to arms by fjord and fell and the pygmy quaking grim hisses what is that to him let the other nations glow let the mighty meet the foe we can ill afford to bleed we are weak may fairly plead from a giant's war exemption 
need not offer all as mead for our fraction of redemption not for us the cup he drank not for us the thorny wreath in his temples drove its teeth not for us the spear shaft sank in the side whose life was still not for us the burning thrill of the nails that clove and tore we the weak the least accounted battle summons may ignore not for us the cross he mounted just the stirrup slashes stain just the gash the cobbler scored in the shoulder of the lord is our portion of his pain throws himself down in the snow and covers his face presently he looks up was i dreaming dream i still mist enshrouded is the hill were those visions but the vain phantoms of a fevered brain is the image clean outworn where unto man's soul was born is the maker's spirit fled listening ha huh, what song breaks overhead invisible choir in the suff of the storm never shalt thou win his spirit thou in mortal flesh was born spurn his bidding or revere it equally thou art forlorn brand repeats the words and says softly woe's me i may well fear it stood he not and saw me pray sternly smote my prayer away all i loved he has demanded all the ways of light sealed fast made me battle single-handed and be overthrown at last the choir louder above him worm thou mayst not win his spirit for death's cup thou hast consumed fear his will or do not fear it equally thy work is doomed brand softly agnes alf the gladsome life when unrest and pain i knew not i exchanged for tears and strife in my own heart plunged the knife but the fiend of evil slew not the choir tender and alluring dreamer thine is not his spirit not to him thy gifts are worth heaven thou never shalt inherit earth-born creature live for earth brand breaks into soft weeping alf and agnes come unto me lone i sit upon this peak keen the north wind pierces through me phantoms seize me chill ones meek he looks up a glimmering space opens and clears in the mist the apparition of a woman stands in it brightly clad with a cloak over its shoulders it is agnes the phantom smiles and spreads its arms towards him see again brand i have found thee brand starting up in bewilderment agnes agnes what is this the phantom dearest it is thy release from the fevered dreams that bound thee brand agnes agnes he is hurrying towards her the phantom screams cross not deep rolls between us the abyss where the mountain torrents sweep tenderly thou dost dream not neither sleep nor with phantoms wagest war dear by sickness thou wast wasted frenzy's bitter cup hast tasted dreamt thy wife had fled afar brand o oh, thou livest blessed be the phantom hastily peace of that no murmur now follow fast the moment's press brand oh but alf the phantom alive no less brand lives the phantom and with unfaded brow all thy sorrows did but seem all thy battles were a dream alf is with thy mother she vigorous yet and stalwart he still the old church stands entire pluck it down if thou desire and the dalesmen still drudge on as they did in good days gone brand good the phantom for days of peace they were brand peace the phantom oh haste thee brand oh fly brand woe i dream the phantom thy dream's gone by but thou needest sheltering care brand i am strong the phantom ah me not yet still the fell dream lies in wait once again from wife and child it shall sweep thee cloud beguiled once again thy soul obscure if thou wilt not seek the cure brand oh vouchsafe it the phantom thou availest thou alone that cure to reach brand name it then the phantom the aged leech who has conned so many a page the unfathomably sage he discovered where thou ailest all the phantoms of thy strife three words conjured them to life them thou boldly must recall from thy memory efface them 
from thy conscience blot erase them at their bidding lo thou burnest in this maddening blast of bane oh forget them if thou yearnest to make white thy soul again brand say what are they the phantom naught or all brand reeling back is it so the phantom so sure as i am alive and thou wilt die brand woe on us the sword once more swings above us as before the phantom brand be kind my breast is warm clasp me close in thy strong arm let us fly where summer's sun brand never more that plague shall bind me the phantom ah brand all is not yet won brand shaking his head i have flung that dream behind me me no more that phantom strife's horror thrills but life's but life's the phantom life's brand come agnes where i lead the phantom brand what is it thou wilt do brand what i must the dream make true live the vision into deed the phantom ha thou canst not think but whither that road led thee brand thither thither the phantom what thou darest dream beguiled wilt thou whole and waking dare brand whole and waking the phantom lose the child brand lose it the phantom brand brand i must the phantom and tear me all bleeding from the snare with the rods of sacrifice scourge me to the death brand i must the phantom quench the glow of sunny skies turn all bright things into dust never pluck life's fruitage fair never be upborne by song ah so many memories throng brand naught avails lose not thy prayer the phantom heedst thou not thy martyr's meed baffled where thou sought'st to waken stoned by all by all forsaken brand not for recompense i bleed not for trophies do i fight the phantom for a race that walks entombed brand one to many can give light the phantom all their generations doomed brand much availeth one will's might the phantom one with fiery sword of yore man of paradise bereft at the gate a gulf he cleft over that thou mayst not soar brand but the path of yearnings left the phantom vanishes in a thunderclap the mist fills the place where it stood and a piercing scream is heard as of one flying die earth cannot use thee more brand stands a moment in bewilderment out into the mist it leapt plumy wings of falcon beating down along the moorland swept for a finger it was treating that the hand might be its prize ha the spirit of compromise gerd comes with a rifle hast thou seen the falcon brand yea this time i have seen him gerd say quick which way thou saw'st him fly we will chase him thou and i brand steel and bullet he defies oftentimes you think he flies stricken by the mortal lead but draw near to strike him dead up he starts again secure with the old cajoling lure gerd see the hunter's gun i've got steel and silver is the shot trial my wits are less astray than they reckon brand have thy way going gerd priest thou walkest lame afoot brand i was hunted gerd red thy brow as the blood of thy heart's root brand i was beaten gerd musical was thy voice of old that now rattles like the leaves of fall brand i was gerd what brand by one and all spurned gerd looking at him with great eyes aha i know thee now for the priest i took thee pest take the priest and all the rest the one greatest man art thou brand so i madly dared to trust gerd let me look upon thy hands brand on my hands gerd they're pierced and torn in thy hair the blood dew stands riven by the fanged thorn in thy forehead fiercely thrust thou the crucifix did span in my childhood father told me twas another long ago far away that suffered so now i see he only fooled me thou art the redeeming man brand get thee hence gerd 
shall i not fall low before thy feet and pray brand hence gerd thou gavest the blood away that hath might to save us all brand oh no saving plank i see in my own soul's agony gerd take the rifle shoot them dead brand shaking his head man must struggle till he falls gerd oh not thou thou art the head by the nails thy hands were gored thou art chosen thou art lord brand i'm the meanest worm that crawls gerd looks up the clouds are lifting knowst thou where thou standst brand gazing before him below the first step of the ascent it is far and i am faint gerd more fiercely say where art thou dost thou know brand yes now falls the misty shroud gerd yes it falls without a cloud svartitind impales the blue brand looking up svartitin the ice church gerd yea here thou camest churchward too brand hence a thousand miles away how i long to fly afar where the sunlight and the balm and the holy hush of calm and life's summer kingdoms are bursts into tears jesus i have cried and pleaded from thy bosom still outcast thou hast passed me by unheeded as a well-worn word is passed of salvation's vesture stained with the wine of tears unfeigned let me clasp one fold at last gerd pale what is this then weepest thou hot tears till thy cheek is steaming and the glacier's death shroud streaming silently from crag and crest and my memory's frozen tides melt to weeping in my breast and the snowy surplice glides down the ice priest's giant sides trembling man why wept'st thou not till now brand radiant clear and with an air of renewed youth through the law and ice track led then broke summer overhead till to-day i strove alone to be god's pure tablet stone from to-day my life shall stream lambent glowing as a dream the ice fetters break away i can weep and kneel and pray sinks upon his knees gerd looks askance upwards and then softly and timidly there he sits the ugly sprite tis his shadow sweeps the land where he flogs the mountain height with his flapping vans in flight now redemption is at hand if the silver will but bite puts the rifle to her cheek and shoots a hollow roar as of distant thunder is heard far up the precipice brand starting up ha what dost thou gerd down he slides i have hit him down he swings shrieking till the echo rings plumes in thousand from his sides flutter down the beetling bray see how large he looms how white ha he's rolling down this way brand sinking down blood of children must be spilt to atone the parent's guilt gerd tenfold vaster at his fall grew the tent of heaven above see him tumble see him sprawl ah i will not shudder more he is white see as a dove shrieks in terror ha huh! the horrible thunder roar throws herself down in the snow brand crouches under the descending avalanche and looking up speaks god i plunge into death's night shall they wholly miss thy light who unto man's utmost might willed the avalanche buries him the whole valley is swallowed up a voice calls through the crashing thunder he is the god of love end of act five recording by expatriate in bangor maine end of brand by henrik ibsen translated by charles harold herford eighteen fifty three to nineteen thirty one